the person that clipped that because guys if you're gonna clip something and the streamer's like clip that clip out the part where we say to fucking clip Luck it master is okay. first in the channel because they redeemed where did you guys it? get your clipping Woo. license do not clip the part where we says can somebody clip that please no clip it before that otherwise we just look like a douche you sack that person have been under the port of london all along is it an illusion the only way forward is the abyss. Phew, I didn't die. Eat this. It is icy cold and well. That's the only when it said the abyss. That's the only thing I could think of that I got to walk off the edge because that's the abyss, right? <clears throat> I actually, I actually knew one. I knew one. Um, I guess back into the abyss again. Like, I don't have the ability to jump. Where can I see the skins? Under the skins tab in the store, under my name. Let's do someone else. I already had your name typed in. The truth. All right. Um, Sage or the truth. Which skin do you guys want? Okay, I'm gonna turn this off for a while. <laughs> Whew, that's hot. Mum, mum, mum. I don't want to go to school. I don't want to do my homework. I don't want to go to bed. I don't want to eat this. Mum, mum, mum. Are we there yet? Mum, I'm hungry. Can you make me some food? Mum. Mum, I want this. Mum. Mum. Just almost clicked the wrong one. I'll grab about 20. I try to save up max and then spend it. That way... You know, I might have more chance of getting a legendary. Oh my god. I can't believe I just got a legendary. Fuck yes! Fuck yes! Oh, it is my birthday right now. Holy shit, yeah, that was only like 20 cards. I usually try to save up for the 500. Where can I see the skins? Under the skins tab in the store under my name. Let's do someone else. I already had your name typed in. The truth. All right. Um, Sage or the truth? Which skin do you guys want? Okay, I'm gonna turn this off for a while. <laughs> Whew, that's hot. Oh, Pokemon! Catch it! Catch it! Catch it! Oh, Pokemon! Catch it! Catch it! Catch it! Uh, it's a C1 or C to your boat. I just made fun of myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone will clip it. <laughs> I judged them for 19 hours. I'm sorry some of you guys didn't get skins. Hi, miss. Hi, Cage. <laughs> My face hurts from smiling. You guys have absolutely blown me away. Why do you have stage fright? I always have. Even at school, I wouldn't even do my speeches in front of the class. So I lost a lot of marks at school. Is that orange cat real? Hi, I'm Tigger. I rarely move. I don't eat or poo. I'm super quiet and sleep all the time. And if you're wondering why, it's not because I'm fake. It's because I'm stone. See, I'm super too easy to look after and I'm really good at fooling people. Millie's real though, aren't you darling? Hey, no, don't eat, don't sniff the gems. Hey, 
Look, here. Look. Ready? High five. High five. Do it again. High five. High five. <laughs> oh, you are wet. I got wet fingers. Don't touch it. Don't touch the feet. I think it's just hot. Oh, no, don't touch the cat at all. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ah! <laughs> Who's that in my diamond painting? Can I, can I please? Ow, 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 can I? <laughs> That's why we can't have nice things. That's why we can't have nice things. Can I? <laughs> Let me put my stand out, you little shit. I love you, but. <laughs> it's okay. He's gone. He's gone. I don't want to trap him because I don't want to lose all my traps. Well, that happened. Mum. Mum. Mum! I don't want to go to school. I don't want to do my homework. I don't want to go to bed. I don't want to eat this. Mum. 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 Are we there yet? Mum, I'm hungry. Can you make me some food? Mum. Mum, I want this. Mum. Mom. Now lick the mic. Wait, wait, guys, guys. I'm, I'm. Is a one-time offer. I'm gonna offer you a blowjob right now. You ready? You ready? That'll be a hundred bucks each, please. This is my food. Come on, move. Move. You little fucker! He just stole my food. He just stole my food. He was so fast, he just pulled it out of my hand. Stole a piece. Right here. All yours, go for it. Go, go on. Oh my god, he did it. He stuck his whole face. Hey, he just won. <laughs> wow. How many did you get? You pig. <laughs> did you get? <laughs> I wanted to make all my skins here at the bottom. Ah, all these. I wanted to make my. Oh, how do I? These. I wanted to make my. Oh, I didn't mean. I wasn't trying to play with you. <laughs> I wanted to make my sprites. Ow, ow, ow. Um, but it was too difficult without a template. Ow! I will cut your nails, mister. Don't test me. Oh, Pokemon, catch it, catch it, catch it. You're going to bite my finger? Um, what do we got? We got a... I can't see the... Don't eat my painting! Oh, Pokemon, catch, catch it, catch it, catch it! Your rock Pokemon, 97 kilos, 375 BST. Like, you are not being helpful. Hey. Wait. No. 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 Too late. It's playtime. Can you go play on the bed with your toys? I don't know what half of these symptoms are here. What? Did I just get lucky? I was just... What? I was just fucking around. 200 IQ? No, that was an accident. I mean, I totally meant to do that. I was not just playing around. Um, I know I got the symbols from the first room. Um, I'm really confused. 
because I had no idea what I was doing. Um, I was just moving stuff, uh, but I'll take it. So somehow I managed to get every picture right. I, I, I don't And I need to put food on it. I thought E was animal feces. I don't want your poo. You tamed a dinosaur. Yes, I did. How do I drop it? Oh, hang on. Don't punch it. I'm sorry, Keevers. <sighs> I'll do stuff for money. Like, if people pay me to do shit, I will do it. <laughs> Otherwise, twice a week is all you're getting. Mum. Mum. Mum! I don't want to go to school. I don't want to do my homework. I don't want to go to bed. I don't want to eat this. Mum. 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 Are we there yet? Mum, I'm hungry. Can you make me some food? Mum. Mum, I want this. Mum. Mum. Hello, this is the New World Warranty Company. Friendly reminder that the policy will expire soon. We have excellent... Hello, this is the New World Home Warranty, warranty company, company with a friendly reminder that your policy will expire soon. We have excellent renewal rates. Please contact your local... Hello, Hello and oh, welcome to my mature rated is that channel. On I'm... Hello, beautiful people. How are we doing? Howdy, howdy, howdy. What the fuck is this shit? Why is that there? Where's my other one? Oh, it's fine. That's not the right chat. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum, where are you? I can't even find you back. Where's my chat box? Chat box, chat box, chat box. Chat box. Did you push something while I was gone, Blake? No, okay, that's better. The other one's grey. I don't like it. <laughs> How are you doing, ladies and gentle people? Oh, why are you not capturing my game? Oh, well, I guess let's start the battle. Um, who have we got? Who have we got? Who have we got? Scroll, scroll, scroll. Uh, luck. Awesome source. Howdy, howdy. SP Wolf, thank you for the lurk over on YouTube as well. Much appreciated. Instagram, Angel Dodger, Dewop, Bella Rosolo, and Cadmius. Howdy, howdy. All right, let's start this battle. Get that out of the way. Uh, let me open the giveaway. Why is it not showing the other game captured at the top there? Why, why? Is it because it minimized? There we go. It is because it minimized. Sound. I don't like it when I play games and they minimize when I tab. Is there a way to make them not do that? Secret setting I don't know about? Um, yeah, so I'm going to try a horror game. I did want to play Deceit actually, but I just played Deceit already this week. Uh, but they have all the new Xbox people there, so depending on how I go with this game, I might change over to that. Surprisingly, I did enjoy DBD, even though I didn't know what I was doing with the killers. I think I am running out of uh, single player games to play and I'm still not up for doing a diamond painting because my arm's still buggered. Uh, Paige and um, it has improved though. It has improved slightly. So we'll see how that goes. Does anyone want to heal a scroll? 
Anyone want to heal a scroll? I got a heal a scroll left for two people. Windowed or borderless. How do I do windowed borderless? I didn't see it as an option. I tried alt enter, but I don't think that was the right thing. Oh, Renan's not in here. Uh, oh, Cad. Cad's usually in here. Nope, not yet. Okay. Random it is. Random it is. We are on... Why the fuck did that open Nitro? We are on a super boss chapter. If it's available, you'll find it in the graphics setting. I will have another look. <clears throat> I did try to quickly go through it while I was on my um, starting stream, but I did not see it. Uh, but I am known to be blind. I do have issues with my eyes right now. All right. Um. Oh, custom story. Option, graphics, material shadows, post effect, mix smoothing, refraction, resolution. Oh, take full screen off maybe? Is that the word? Uh, don't judge me, my gamma is slightly up. Okay, so now when I alt tab, it's still doing it. Fuck, really? I'll enter. That's annoying. Oh, don't do that. You're gonna make me feel like it's super scary. I don't actually like horror games. I don't like that it stops every time I alt tab either. Oh, my options aren't even working now. Nothing's working. Great. Okay. A great game. If you've played it, maybe you can help me because I do get stuck pretty easy. I'm probably going to be too distracted with the scary monsters. Are you just starting? I've never played it before. I don't normally do horror games, but I really love puzzle games. So I, I thought, let's give it a go. I feel like that's too loud, man. Why are you so loud? Where's my volume mixer? Uh, now we have no volume. Uh oh. Ah. What happened? The volume. Did I mute you? I didn't mute you. Yes, I did. Okay. Graphics. Well, I might as well put it back on full screen because that didn't work. Hey, it's time for me to wake up! I'm not due to start for another half an hour in case anyone's wondering. Uh, no more hard mode? Oh gee, I wonder. Let me just have some more sips of this coffee and I'll get into the game. Every time I click out of the screen, it disappears. Mm -mm. I hope you enjoy your ad free experience over there on YouTube, Wolf. <sighs> Sorry, almost done. Almost coffee is almost scaled. Oh really? Why is that black bar? What is that black box? Don't belong there.
Why are my words going over my writing? No, no, no. Can I shrink this tiny bit? Under now? Is that, that's just under the game, right, kid? I want three lines and I want it just under the game. Let's lock you in there. What else is on that's not meant to be on? You're not meant to, no, you are meant to be on. Uh, Christmas skins, you're not meant to be on. Halloween is not meant to be on. I think everything else is fine. All right, one more mouthful of coffee. And let's go. Um, did I sort out my recordings? Where are you guys? Okay. Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I'm not normally a big fan of horror games but this is a puzzle game so I really wanted to check it out. Uh, disclaimer, I did get this game for free. Start game, normal or hard mode? Well I'm a pussy so I'm gonna go normal and then cry that it's still too hard. Yes, start a new game. I have got my gamma increased slightly because I'm a scaredy cat. <sighs> uh, if anyone wants my affiliate link, it is in the description or exclamation mark playing Don't if you're forget. on Twitch. Oh, I don't like this blur. Can I move? I can. Mayfair. Am I meant what to move? I this is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I but must stop him. Focus. Stop who? My name is... is His name's Daniel. I am Daniel. Oh, game over. Well, that was fun. Just kidding. Um, I'm gonna have to check if there's a motion blur option though, if it does that when the game starts as well. Because I'll get sick. <laughs> I know. Shut up. Oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna end up being sick if um. Hi, my name is Thomas Grip. And I'm one of the co-founders of Frictional Games. I work with engine code, gameplay code, design, and many other things for Amnesia. In my commentaries, I will make Oh, Pokemon! Catch it, catch it, catch it! ...behind the different parts of the game. I hope you'll enjoy them. I hope I'll enjoy them too. Um, do we have motion blur as an option? Oh dear. Oh dear. What else would it be under? All right, well. Which way do I wanna go? The roof's leaking, man. No tinder boxes left. I've never been on tinder. What do you want about game? When grabbing an object, press the right mouse to throw it. Hold R. And move the mouse to rotate the object. Well that was anti-dramatic. I was trying to I was trying to throw it really cool like. Yay! What do I think of that? 
Oh my god, a tinderbox! It's a match! It's a match! In the old days, maybe. The name of this level is Rainy Hall, and it's supposed to be a combination of atmosphere setter and tutorial for the player. We wanted the player to start the game in a slow way so they could settle in and get used to how the game works. Oh good, I need and that. This is not a game with constant action happening all the time, and we wanted to have a constrained map where the player gets used to this. Okay. The only thing you need to do is to follow the track and get to the end of the level. Also, following tracks is something that becomes very useful in later levels, so we try to teach players this from the start. Can't put the jacket on. Hold down left mouse button in order to move the... Oh, I did that already. But now I want to go light the candles. Save your tinder boxes. Oh. Do not write every... Okay, I will, I will not go back and light all the candles. Whatever. Thank you for the heads up. I was going to go back and light everything just because I can. Did that just turn into a hand? I thought it was going to let me stick my hand in there and... I think a wine. Oh, that's a good bottle. It didn't break. There we go. Uh, future reference, don't let me play games where I can throw everything, because I will. <laughs> I'm just... Tell me nothing's going to jump out of these. Do I really need to save my tinder boxes? That's like my third one. Give me the broom. I want to be a witch, damn it. Oh, I could jump. Can't sprint though. Oh, do I even have legs? Oh, I really don't like the blur. It is entirely up to you. <clears throat> I mean, I can't blame the game for keeping me awake at night if I can't sleep because I have a terrible sleep cycle anyway. <gasps> oh. Wait, every time I pick up a box, does it only pick up one Tinder box? It said something in the, um, that you can hide earlier. Like, how do I hide? And is it worth going off the way the Oh, you scared the fuck out of me, man. Is it worth going off? Like, it said to follow the markers, but there's rooms off the side that aren't marked, like this one. Is it worth going in them for achievements or tinder boxes, I guess? Or am I better off just following the markers. Oh, oh, abort, abort, abort. Close the door, close the door, close the door. Nah, uh uh The fuck was that? Why you make it sound like there's a window? There's no window. Hint, beware when standing in dark. Oh, sanity. Oh, turn lights. Okay. Okay. I ruined my sanity. It's fine. So stay out of the dark. What if I just turn my gamma up all the way? Does that count? Didn't think so. The other children cheered him on. His name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I ready doing this? Am I really doing this? The young boy thought and struck his victim with a rock.
This is one of the first levels that we created for the game, and it was initially part of the Arcas level, which we will reach in a bit. And Nisha started out with a pretty different design, and when we redesigned it, the maps did not fit. This caused us to split them up and scatter them out. Uh. So in the first design, after this corridor, the Arcas level was supposed to follow, and the room lying there now was built much later. In fact, the first not design flammable. did not have Daniel waking up with an amnesia at all. And it was actually added later on. In the first story draft, Daniel still had hidden memories, but he was unaware of this at the start of the story. However, as we redesigned things, we found the waking up with Amnesia thingy, although a bit cliche, much more fitting. <sighs> oh, am I gonna die if I go if I don't get light? I'm trying to be stingy on my tinder boxes now because you said don't use them. Hi there, my name is Bishop. In most of the tools for Gamma, the descriptor of Tanya, and perhaps the main reason why the rest of the core team at Pitch and Game is pretty much forced to speak English at our internal meeting. I am the only non sweet here. Now, what a Spaniard is doing with a bunch of Swedish guys is a whole different story we won't be discussing today. By the way, I will be talking mostly about tools and scripting. Hope you like it. I wonder if I can play two at the same time. The editors themselves went through Hi a there. lot of my name is Luis Rodero. The editors themselves went through a lot of design changes during the development. Not that many in visual appeal as in internal stuff, like data structures and handling. This happened mostly because at the beginning we only knew the basic stuff that needed to be in them, and as they grew in features and functionality, they started to kind of fall apart, mostly due to my big lack of previous experience in projects like this. Right now I loud what the hell still sounds in my head when I look at some parts of the code, but I am still proud of them. They can also get a bit buggy at times, but hopefully this won't happen again in the future. And I already got some nice ideas for the next iteration of the two. Away. Uh. Hello everyone, my name is Mikael and I'm the writer for Amnesia, The Dark Descent. That's it. Oh. And a secret. Feel the story kick starting as we finish the letter from Daniel. The game itself Don't is just afraid. filled with God confusion, and I think we are really doing the player a service, keeping it simple in the beginning. Basically, try to take your revenge on Alexander. That is the premise of the game. You don't really need to dive any deeper than that, but hoping that the player will care about the story, they have the entire game in front of them to decide if they think killing Alexander is justified or not. Where's my letter gone? I um I stopped reading the letter because the lantern drains oil when it's on. To add more oil to the lantern, double click the lantern and eat. How do I use the ant the lantern though? I T How do I use the lantern? The lantern will light it in places. When in game press F. Okay, cool. Um, how do I see that letter that I picked up? Because I cancelled it because it was talking through the other thing. Oh, now I gotta read it. I wish I could ask you how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. 
I choose to forget. How are you doing, Unremarkable? Thanks for popping in. Try to find comfort and strength in the fact there is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brennenberg still evokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum. Find Alexander. Kill him. His body is old and weak, as yours is young and strong. He will be no match for you. The last thing, a shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare. Breaking down reality. I've tried everything. And there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self. What a fucking creep. A bot. A bot. A bot. Okay. I'm not scared, you're scared. Hold down shift. That wasn't doing anything earlier. It's more like a jog, not a run. I wouldn't call this a run. Hello, my name is Mark McKender. I'm Hello, a Mark McKender. I started out as a helper during Penumbra Overture and was finally hired as a full-time artist in the later part of Penumbra Black Plague. Pray, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... The entrance hall was first shown in our first gameplay trailer. And while the layout hasn't changed much, the details certainly have. We build our levels from sets of pieces. In this case, the custom-based set. While a carefully planned set pieces... Your dramatic whisper voice is pretty entertaining when you're launching an ASMR channel. I think I'm too loud for ASMR. One and a half year later, the special pieces make up about half of the pieces in the base set. And we made changes to incorporate these objects into the earlier levels. An example of this can be seen if you compare the hole in the roof now with the one from the first trailer. The new roof was made in the middle of the project when you built level 9 back hall. Indeed. A special version was made to give the roof hole in the entrance hall more depth and detail. And also, I heard to be ASMR successful, you need to like, show your titties and pretend to give blowjobs to your microphone. And again, no, that's not me. Latin. The reason for using it is that it was considered a language of culture and science. As most oh, how do I know where to go now? There's so many options. Is it not true? I don't know. I've I've looked at the category. <laughs> Should I just follow the blood trail instead of going off track? Like I'm I I have a big problem where it's like, oh, there's a door there, but there's a door there. Okay, so I want to go to this door, but I meant to go this way, but there's a door here. I have to do the, you know. Should I just ignore that and follow? I'm easily distracted. Oh, on YouTube? No, I don't know about YouTube. Um, I was talking about on Twitch. Pokemon, catch it, catch it, catch it. And you know, I'm not interested in not having, having that type of uh, community that those people attract. <laughs> Real ASMR is good though. Followed our development blog back when it started, you might have missed one of the biggest changes in our production pipeline. Two years back, we started a tool set side project to ease and speed up the creation of content for the game. I'd say the level editor, which is what we, or more specifically James, Mark, and Marcus, have used to build all the halls and corridors you are walking through right now, is the big start of the pack. It's workings in a nutshell. While all the models and assets are actually made in software like Maya or Blender, everything geometry-wise in the levels is put together in it. Then lighting and sweet details like decals and fogs are added. Like, the game hasn't really started, but I'm really clenched. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking scared. I'm expecting something to jump out and eat me. I don't know.
I want my mommy. Exclamation mark loot. If you want the loot. Any 14, I must be slacking. <clears throat> Got Paige and Kirki. I had to wear a jumper yesterday. It's amazing how the weather just changes so quick. I'm actually cold today too. Uh, make sure you guys are in these, by the way, because we are surprisingly on Super Boss Chapter. Normally I just do whatever. I actually thought we had one more day of the event for some reason. The event didn't end early, did it? <clears throat> oh, oh, because it's the end of the event. We're actually uncapped as well. Um, you, you're no longer capped on Super Boss. Uh, one, two, three. So try to hang out if you can, if you want those scrolls. Uh, no issue should end a few hours ago. The next event should activate by this time tomorrow. Okay, yeah, no, I was surprised because, um, when I finished last stream, I'm like, oh, I'm a super boss chapter, and I thought that'd be cool to have after the event, but I must have missed time because I thought there was still another stream between now and then, but I guess I was wrong. Oh well. It's fine. It's good for you guys because now you guys are uncapped. Did I just come out of here or... I don't know. Oh, book. I hope none of these are important. Burn them. Behave, Angel. Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, 
He told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. You can quickly check the most recent read by pressing N or accessing the journal. I'm not going to remember that. I'm impressed. If I do that at home, my cupboard falls over. <laughs> to finish this little overview of our tool, I must mention the material editor, available both standalone and built into the other editor. The program itself is very simple to use. You have some material types defined by the engine, and you can throw in textures to be used for diffuse, normal match, and height match, as well as some variables to control specific parameters for a material type. When I was writing it, I could just stare while the preview model rotated around itself and the parallax mapping effect was on when testing, just for fun. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg, it has recommended my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Which one of these was I just listening Another to? piece of the tool set is the model editor used to create the entities you are interacting with while playing. Basically, we take a model and set up some parameters like physical bodies, joints, and user-defined variables. We can also attach sub-entities to them, like lights, particle systems. When an entity is finally set up, it is ready to be placed in a level using the level editor. Examples of entities here are doors, lamps, most furniture, critters, this level was changed a lot, and I think it's one of the most tweaked levels that we got. Not only was it part of the big archives level that we had to split up, but it was also hard to get engaging enough. The problem here is that we don't have any sort of fun mechanic that we rely on to make the game engaging. Instead, we rely on story, atmosphere, and environment. This is true for many other levels and the game as a whole, but this was kind of the the one of the larger levels that we made and also one that didn't have much puzzles and such. So when testing it we quickly get bored with it and we wanted to add more spooky events to spice it up. But then later on testing proved that these events weren't that necessary and we also felt that they were a bit lame and not fitting so we decided to 17th remove of them. May. Then the back part of the level, we wanted to make it a more linear experience I I need with the current player getting trapped and all forcing the How you doing, Joe? Good to see you. Wall and find Today, door I Sorry, I thought that yeah. narration was going to stop, which is why I opened this one. <laughs> the level is now very different in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. 
Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. the fuck was that? Was that an urn? Really? I can't just open this? Um, I've I don't know which way I've been now. They are supposed to have tracks to follow. The sanity is low. Where's my sanity bar? There you go. I'll just stand in the light. No. Does the sanity not come back? Health, sanity, oil. I don't know where to go. Was I even meant to go down this way? Did the blood lead this way? Oh my god, it didn't. I was supposed to go down. One job. This is one of the many hub levels in the game. And this is a design concept that we started out with in Penumbra. The idea is to give the player some freedom on where to go, but at the same time give a clear objective. In this level, the slime obstacle is a thing that the player needs to get past, and all other levels then have things needed to do so. The slime oh. itself is one of the few puzzles left from the initial design, and the one I'm probably the least proud of. Now that the slime appears all around, it feels a bit forced that you need to have a potion on the slime. Many testers also complain that they want to the other options in getting rid of the slime, like burning it. However, creating a potion is the central theme for this hub, so we had to let it be. I don't think it's that bad, but we probably could have redesigned it if we had the time. But I don't have a potion, so I can't go that way. I can't follow the footprints. Pokemon, catch it, catch it, catch it! From before. Um. So where do I go? It said follow the blood trails, right? I don't know. Because there's no blood trails up here. I just want to get to the puzzles. Is there like hints? Oh. These bugs creep me out. When I started writing, I had only to outline the framework for the story. 
and the first few levels in the game design document. So I ended up finalizing a lot of material for the first levels, and then when those were done, we planned out the last two thirds or so. This had a funny effect since I had to not only cater to the story, but to stay true to the stuff I had written for the first levels. Usually you can go back and forth while writing and change things, but if you have already recorded voices, you really shouldn't because of the costs. So the first text really shaped the rest of the material in an interesting way, and made them matter in a way I hadn't thought about. I really like how this this thickens the story elements as I am able to jump back into the material and keep using and reinforcing certain concepts. Agrippa is of course the most extreme effect of this method which grew from a small reference to becoming one of the most important characters in the game. Why am I on the ground? 17th of May. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Touch it. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped Firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. I don't know what I have to do. I don't. S I've gone everywhere. Wait. Wait. This was open a second ago, right? Can I break into here? Fragile but not breakable by hand. I don't have any tools. What am I supposed to do? Have a lantern, that's it. Man, <laughs> imagine doing the tutorial level with all the narration and you still don't know what to do. That's my life. Break. There's nowhere to go in this room. There's nowhere to go in this room. Who 
If someone's played this, can you let me know? This is somewhat embarrassing right now. I don't know how to break this open. Wait, what? It said not breakable by hand. How did I just break that open? You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. I just left click. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. Why does this only come out part of the way? Is there a secret door it's opening? I don't hear anything. Looks like I'm supposed to be able to read this because it's no. Did I miss a book? Why didn't you do that the first time? Did I have the wrong order maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Never find me in here. Willem and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Bunnenberg. I need to look Willem and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public helicopters. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve whatever that comes first they cannot rot they can rot for all i care <sighs> sorry maybe i'll feed them some wine it would in a sense solve both my problems giveaways open Need a jumper and freezing my ass off.
So I had to go find a give you a cat's a cattle that'll warm me up. No, I had to go find my jacket. Oh, it wasn't where I thought it was. I got it. All right, fifty gold. Let's go. Fifty gold for coated buck and cad. Fifty gold for. Joel and do up and two monks for Ryla. Other oh, arm into this thing. Oh. There we go. Oh, okay. Need another coffee. Alright, do more after this till Super Boss. Da -da 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 -da. I should probably go grab my bottle of water as well so I have some hydration fluid available to me and a coffee if that's okay um, so I'm gonna be our B in about two minutes I'll just put this screen up because it played the ads not long ago so I'm gonna be a bee don't hate me feel free to get up stretch hide it grab a snack do what you need to do I'm gonna be at least two minutes Pokemon, catch it, catch it, catch it. Alright, I got coffee. I got a Pokemon I missed. Oh. Can you move? Maybe, maybe, move. Can you shove love? Keep walking. 
Keep working. I'm working here. Thank you. Hey, BT. Thank you for the YouTube black. Very much appreciated. All right, let's get back to it. I suppose I gotta go grab this key. Did I open this cupboard. Any exciting books in here? The wine cellar. It sounds like a monster. Where doth one find a wine cellar? I don't think I've seen a wine cellar. Wait, 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 wait. Is that the thing downstairs that I can't get to because it's caved in? What do I do? Wait, can I? No, I can't get up there. Can you move, pussycat? I can't see what I'm doing. Keep walking. You went without coffee one day. The court case is pending. Uh, yeah, I read the. I I seen a post saying um, cutting out caffeine. Um, has proven to give up. Oh my god. Oh, what is it? Is it to make. Oh, I forget what the saying was. It was something about cutting out caffeine, pretty much making your life not worth living, sort of thing. Um, oh, cutting. I don't know. I don't know. I shouldn't repeat things when I don't know how to repeat them. Um, where's the wine cellar? I don't know what to do. There's no way out. I can't go up. I do have a key that I don't know how to use. There's this door. There's no books I can pull out. Oh. Handy. Where's the wine cellar? Oh, never mind. I just leave everything open so I could be like, yeah, I've been there. Study. Sure, let's check out the study. Let's not check out the study. Let's check out the tombs I feel like that should open open thing What the fuck, man? Who invited you? What fuck was that? Where'd it go? Check there's nothing up this way. Okay, so I came out of the middle door. <laughs> oh my god! the fuck? <laughs> I don't want to play this game anymore. <sighs> oh, I'm so sorry I just yelled in your ears. I'm, I'm not good with horror games. You even scared me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I wasn't ready for a monster. So, do I. If I have lights on, do they not appear?
I'm fine. Just another day. Another piece of the tool set is the model editor, used to create the entities you are interacting with while playing. Basically, we take a model and set up some parameters like physical bodies, joints, and user-defined variables. We can also attach sub-entities to them, like lights, particles... Two minutes still store reset. The entity is finally set up. Nice. Oops. It is ready to be placed in a level using the level editor. Examples of entities here are doors, lamps, more furniture, critters. Well, let me just go check my store actually because I haven't done that yet. Scrolls. Yes, I want you. I want you. Can you remind me again when it has reset? I'm so sorry I squealed. Do you like horror games, Kated? Wait, I've been in here. I've done this. Why would those doors close? Because I leave everything open. I've been here. In that room. I remember the fun with furniture spiel. And the problems with not being fun. But this is the only way to go. What did I come out of that one? I thought I came out of the middle one. Yeah, I came out of here. Or is this the way around now because the roof caved in and I need to get to the winery? You don't play many jump scare games? Do you like watching them? I have no sense of direction so <laughs> I'm really going to struggle. So how do I get through this shit? Because it said no tools or lights. No. Thank you, Joe. <coughs> Excuse me. See, it's tough to implant. It can, it can't be torn by hands or tools. But isn't that the key that I got? So how do I get in here? Where's the potion that I meant to have? A wine cellar key. Hmm. Where's the wine cellar? Oh, right here. I don't know how to use it. Oh, there we go. Probably more fun to watch than to play for you. Yeah, I don't, I don't like horror games, but here we are. <laughs> give me a game for free and I'll give it a go. It's, it said it's a puzzle game, so I really wanted to try. Whee. A major design guideline for us was to give each level a unique theme. Ooh, full damage. Beware, standing in the darkness, you suddenly will drain 10 on lights in the environment. 
This makes each level a little piece of the story and theme at large, and also gives them focus so the player is not distracted with too much information. The theme in this level is the strange creatures that lurk in the castle. The player first spots them momentarily in archive, so now is the perfect place to build some fear. There is never now? A you, you missed the part where I shit myself earlier? Darker than any before. And there's a constant pressure with boards creaking in the light. Hello, I'm Jens Nilsson, co-founder of Frictional Games. I work mainly with the sound, gameplay and event scripting in Amnesia. For my commentary in this game, I'll jump back and forth between the topics of sound. The basic structure of the earlier levels in the game has been built by me. I have not created the models or anything like that, but I have built the levels with the graphics from the artists using our level editor. This was the very reason for us to create the level editor, as it would allow for the whole team to work on levels, building them from scratch if so needed. For our previous Penumbra games, we could have to tweak a level a little bit, but making a whole level was the job for an artist and no one else. In the early days of the Amnesia project, the artists had their hands full with making graphics, and so I was the Did one I just die? levels. Looking at the levels now, a lot of things have changed and improved, but the base is still there. Showing no tinderboxes, I had plenty! The level editor was a sound one, one of the few things, in fact, with the Amnesia project that has not been scrapped, reworked or modified heavily. Um, okay. Fuck, do I get out of here? Can I move this? Is that a no? I don't know if this is what I'm meant to do. It doesn't look like it's moving. Uh, but isn't that my only door? That's my only door. Don't make me rage quit. Instructions aren't clear. Oh, Pokemon, catch it, catch it, catch it. I can't move this. I can't move any of this. Move any of this, I can't get out. I have no idea what Calamine does, but I can't move these. They'll start working. There's no other way. Oh, unless I can get through here. Oh, wait. I just work something out.
Oh my god, did I just work it out? I'm the smartest. I was gonna give up. I'm not really the smartest, I'm pretty slow. Get off me. Fuck, let me out. My name is Willem, House of Gerich. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago I was summoned to the castle of Brennenburg. As most and Oh my god, why do they always use big words? As most artisticracy, I was curious about what was supposed to Knight of the Order could want from me and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid. And the reason I was chosen was because of my follies of my past and not the honours I've been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon the slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would arrest a test of my character at the royal court advancing my position within the noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision but it came swiftly and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I have brought men, women and children to Brennenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was so weak it fell into his diabolical ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes and I can no longer... No longer what? Exclamation mark loot. <laughs> Good boy.
Paige and Buck. Monk for flesh bag and cad. You making this difficult, Blake? And gladiator for oops. Look at you look at everything. Uh did I do cad? I did. Who did? And lucky last is dial up. Wahuka421 wanted to be first. Yeah, I'm sorry, you went first, Wahoo. Wahuka. <sighs> I assume there's new drops on tomorrow, so when I stream tomorrow, I'll probably stream from the stream reader category. There's no room for both of you. There's no room. There's no room in play. Yes, yeah, so you guys sit on my lap and make me make me feel better. Because I'm scared. You sit down. Oh my god, the worst part is this game's gonna jump scare me. She's got really sharp claws. She's probably gonna stick them into me, get frightened and run off. I don't know where to go. Nah, -uh. you stay open. Bad. The enemy is near. Stay out of sight and hide in the darkness. Make sure to turn off your lantern. What enemy? Big creepy dude. I'm really fucking scared. I don't know what I'm meant to do though. I got all these doors open. So I think I've been everywhere down here. footsteps it's freaking me out I need some direction of where to go <sighs> hey did I just teleport up the stairs when that happened Have I been in the laboratory? Lost smell of the desert and damp mask. The pieces lay scrambled on top. Too many of them. I didn't get to finish reading it. 
Wait, isn't this where I just was? No. The first single editor is also a fine part of the tool bundle. And it is what we use to create particle effects for maps and events. We use particles to do nice effects like the flames in torches and the, and the smoke that comes out from them. All we have to do is add one or more particle emitter, set up some parameters like starting position and speed, on all sorts of savings in size, color or speed. It's funny how you can simulate all kinds of effects with such simple elements. I very much recommend you to try it yourself. Chemical relocation. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiment has taken its toll on many of the less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can to move them to the wine cellar. I was in the wine cellar. Did I miss chemi picking up pet chemicals? Oh no, I've got stuff. I've got, I got stuff. I don't know. It'd be nice if I knew what they were all for, though. In early concepts, this was meant to be a sort of wine testing room and directly connected to the wine cellar. The reason for the whole wine testing thingy was that we planned on having more laboratories in lab levels, so a lab here as well felt kind of strange. Then things changed, and only one lab was left in the design. So we changed the name to laboratory instead. The whole wine testing facility got to make dangerous acid always felt kind of strange anyway. This is my third attempt to reduce artificial vitae. All more compounds like the potency I need, but I sent some close. Calamine and opramint are given, and the capramite binds them well. This time I will attempt. Aquaregia instead. Aquafortis in the hope it will produce an even more solution. A more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acidic and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Am I do I have to remember this shit? Like, oh this one's gonna be good for this. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and oh, should Pokemon, be handled with the it, greatest catch care. <gasps> oh, we which solution? My third attempt. Blah blah blah. But uh, clementine and opriumum. This time I will attempt aqua. Highly okay. So I need the aqua regia, probably, for um to get rid of that red shit everywhere. I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Oh. Notes. No, I don't care. Uh, is it this one? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Open. What have we here? One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and along for a life together, I know I'm better than others. I weep for them. Damn it, I wasn't finished reading that. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Okay, so.
captured during three days of Elgis' sailboat silently arranged for him to take across the Mediterranean Sea. Having reached the British territory, it was just a matter of observing a cabin on SS. Wait, is it the wine cellar? Is that where I needed to go? I don't think so. Where was that part that I couldn't get to? Oh, here it is. Yes. Okay. So maybe if I do this, chemicals need to be mixed. Well, how the fuck do I mix the damn chemicals? The chemicals must be prepared using the appropriate apparatus. What apparatus? God. For fuck's sake. Do I need to go back upstairs now? Or work out where the fuck I just was five minutes ago? In the laboratory. Ah! So it was here. Should I put this back here? A pot containing mixtures of all sorts. Chemicals must be prepared using the appropriate apparatus. Where's the apparatus? Fine, I'm fine. You think this goes here though? Do I need to put that here? It does go there, I just had to put it on this spot. Use the left mouse, do a circular motion with the right to turn the wheel. Hold down the left mouse and do a circular motion. I'm trying! Now what? Do we just wait? Oh, wait. Hang on. Yes. I don't know if these are all meant to be put in the same thing together. Or if I'm only meant to mix two, but I don't know what's what. Pot of acid. Yes! Now I need to remember where to find that fleshy fleshy thing. 
did you just write down? Too many words. Um. Are you kidding? The staircase has collapsed. How am I supposed to get out now? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. All right, um... It's not fine. It's not fucking fine at all. How do I get out? Game. I can't jump. Be surprised if this works pleasantly. Back yet? Oh, place. So this has got to be what I got to do because that almost worked. Will you stand up straight, barrel. Stand up straight. Who's the fucking smartest? Who's the smartest? Oh, goodness. Sat down by the gas bubble grasping for air. No. Fuck off. I don't know what that means when it does that. Is it this door? Yes. Please work. Please work. I don't know what else to do. Remove the shadow residue in the entrance of the whole amnesia. Binary. Where's my round of applause? After enduring three days in Algiers, a sailboat was finally arranged to take him across the Mediterranean Sea to Gibraltar. Also, having reached the British... How am I... I can't read that fast, man. It's fine. I didn't want to read it anyway. This level was first called Distillery. I need to check the data file and still name that such. Now, for some reason, I told Nikim, a writer, that it was called Refinery, and the voiceover was recorded with the wrong name. 
since it's easier to change a name than a piece of voice data, we had to rename it. I'm glad I said refinery though, and not King's Hall or Grandma's Vegetable Patch. That would not have been as fitting. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Be careful when enemies near crouching. The darkness makes you a lot harder to spot. <laughs> the madam just subscribed for 42 months. Thank you so much for the resub, Janika. I appreciate months. it. Where the heck does the time go? It oh, goes and happiness. Over there. Uh, thank you so much for the resub. Very much appreciated. Enjoy ad free viewing. Bonus channel loyalty. 50% extra poker money. Cute ass emotes. My gratitude. Uh, if you want to pick a color for the koala, let me know. We go to the open door. Can you just lock me in here? Leave that open, please. <laughs> Too many doors. I'm going to get very lost. Green. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition Green it unless is. I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have... Oh, Pokemon! Catch it, catch it, catch it! Was there ever a complete orb? Giveaway is open. Let's go. Oh, please don't be super boss and I forgot to ping it. I think super boss is next.
Last chance to a loot. Oh. <sighs> Ooh, fifty gold. Page Mac and Buck. Storm, Cad, and Bob. Who did? And Ryla. Does anyone else want a reward? Oh, Coded, you're not in the battle. You missed it. Me? Anybody else? But one more. Join Lee, but not the battle slacker. That's right. You want to make sure you're in the next one anyway. The next one I do believe is Super Boss. Yes, it is. That Super Boss chest. Is that really the only loyalty chest on this chapter? That's kind of crappy. Kinda crappy. Oh, I got a new emote I need to upload. I don't know if I should call it no or if I should call it a bad. Um, I copy link. Let me just show you guys what it is. All right, so this is my newest emote. It's a thumbs down. Oh, how do I shrink this? It's not actually showing. Is oh, it's control. There we go. Your main account needs a mod rights on Discord. Did I give it to the wrong one? Should be nope. Um. Um. Yep, is that the one? Rolls. Here we go. Thank you. I think I fixed it. Thank you, thank you. Alrighty. Um, let me just upload that quickly. What is that under viewer rewards? Yes, emotes, yes. I'm pretty sure I still have. Yes, I have one emote slot left. I have a bunch of animated emote slots though. 18 animated emote slots left. Wow. Um, upload. Upload. Where did I save it? Um, 
my blind. Do -do -do, type evo. Um, I'm sure I put it here, but it's not here. Okay. Well then, what if I do it again? Right click, save image, D drive. But it. Bye. PDFG H I J K L M. Oh, there it is. L F. How did I miss that? I looked over it four times. Uh, so you just think nope or no? Nope. Nope or no? No is shorter. Nope. Okay. Upload. All right, new remote. It should be available. You might need to refresh to see it though. Wow. The battle is filling up so quick. Savages, I tell you, savages. Okay, now where was I? Uh, what was the purpose of this room? Use to increase my health. Drink it, double click on it inside my inventory. How is my health? What is this oil? I didn't come out this door, did I? Okay. I... okay. Alright, well, let's go this door. I did this door. I've been here. Okay, this door. Locked from the other side. Wait, is this the room I just came from? No, because I didn't grab this. Where is it? 25th of June, 1839. I feel the need to continue this journal even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and noted Indeed they do, Coded. Indeed they Today, do. I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Okay, 
so open doors means I've done them, no? Run. Tell me I haven't been here. This level was first called distillery, and if you check the data file, Damn it. it's still named as such. <laughs> now, for some reason, I told Nikki, a writer, that it was called refinery, and the voiceover was recorded with the wrong name. Since it's easier to change a name than a piece of voice data, we had to rename it. I'm glad I said refinery though, and not King's Hall or Grandma's Vegetable Patch. That would not have been as fitting. I don't see anything else here to do, so maybe I do need to go back that way. Right? It won't budge. Why didn't I just try that a second ago? Okay, so I have to go here somewhere. Oh, Pokemon, catch it, catch it, catch it! But where? I don't know. Uh, let me just check my Pokemon real quick. I got a sparkly egg I'm trying to hatch. Oh, wrong. Right button. Um... I don't know what to do. <laughs> if I just stay left. blocked from the other side. Okay. I don't know how to get out of here. Oh. <gasps> 
it's fine, it's fine. I'm not scared at all. Can I get up on the roof somehow? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, can I blast through this shit, maybe? A medical brazier. I don't think I need to go up. And that's the way that I came, that I can't go again. So what do I do? What do I do? I do not know. I don't see any secret doors anywhere. didn't see that. Yeah. Like the game just wants me to get angry before I can find my way. The end puzzle with the crank and pulley contraption was a tricky puzzle. Not to create or on a technical level, but purely on a noticeable level. We added stuff to the puzzle perhaps four or five times because after each test session we kept having testers that did not see the piece of wood that you are to break to complete the puzzle. Originally you could only break it so we added the option to pull it out as well. Then we added a faint light what is hitting me? to it and also tweaked the description of the crank. After that we added so that when you pull the crank there is a bit of dust falling from the piece of wood. And we also did a slight change in the angle of the piece of wood and changed the color and the texture, all to make it as notable as possible. So the question is, did you notice the piece of wood? What piece of wood? What piece of wood? This, this wood? The hatch is too heavy to lift by hand. Ah, oh, this piece of wood? I did not notice this piece of wood, no. Wait, something is stuck in the crank pulley tra traption. What piece of wood? Even after the explanation, I still can't find it. Like, I do see this is broken, but I don't think that's what it's talking about. What wood is stuck in the tr- in the- Oh, here it is. No, I didn't see that at all, game. And I would not have worked that out. Guess who's gonna have nightmares tonight? <laughs> Me. Hello, I'm Nick to come uh. from M. Nation, the Dark Descent. You may have heard my music before. Uh -uh. You played the Penumpa game series. It's tempting. And I did a couple of tracks for Penumpa Tech Demo too. So this is my fifth project with Frictional Games. 
and I'm happy to be a part of the team. The Guardian Monster has its own musical team, which you can hear in many ah. places in the game, even if the Guardian is not physically present. Actually, it's more like a noise sound than a certain melody, and I played it with my bassoon. The team has many forms, and this one is almost a direct sound coming from the instrument. I hear it, but I don't know what it's doing. And this noise, which sounds like screaming, is a highly modified version of it. Run! Run! Oh, I'm so dead! I'm so dead! I'm scared, man! Oh, I'm so scared. called Lurky here at fictional games did not have a sense of sound. Later on we wanted to add it though so the player could lure it away by throwing stuff in the water. When I added this something unexpected happened. Lurky started following me. When you jump on the crate it hears the sound you make when you land and it goes to her to investigate. This was very fun emergent behavior and I think it made him even more menacing. I also want to add but Lurker was kind of inspired by my favorite movie as a child, Tremors. I guess this early obsession might also explain some creatures in our older game. Let me out. Let me out. How am I supposed to open the gate and get away with this th from this thing? <laughs> hey, how you doing? Blue is my first death, by the way. <laughs> Dead flesh can act as a distraction, can it? Now it tells me. <sighs> I'm not scared. You are. I'm gonna be a bee. I'm gonna be a bee. Oh man. I, I need to get up. Oh goodness. I don't know what to do. Alright, I'm gonna be Abby and then I'm gonna start Super Boss. I'm gonna be back in like two minutes. This is my food. Leave. Leave. You little fucker! He just stole my food. He just stole my food. It was so fast, you just pulled it out of my hand. Dollar piece. I'm not a booby streamer. I'm a... Entertainer. <laughs> oh my god, the crab is grabbing my nipple. Get off. Even the crab wants it. Look. Look. Damn it. No touching. Get off my teddy. Get off my titty. I'm trying to be a classy titty streamer. Get off. Now he's hungry. I offered him bread earlier. Good daddy Ray. I want the sausage. I want to eat you. Can I eat you? Oh, Pokemon. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Oh, I was kidding. I didn't actually mean to eat him. Oh my god. Am I meant to eat him? Is that what happens? Or are you meant to try to grab the sausage? I was just being funny. Now I just... Oh, man. Now I just feel like a piece of shit. Buddy! Buddy! Come back to me! Oh... Alright, 
that's it for that this one. This is the part where Angel skips tutorial and gets lost. Okay. I'm sucking on a coffee lolly. Let's go. Can you move, please? Can you stop, please, Blakey? <sighs> Can you move your ass, please? Can you move your ass, please? Come on, I can't see, man. Uh, I don't know if there's any point opening the giveaways because they're probably all going to go via channel points. Thanks, Janique. Don't lick me, please. All right, let's go. This is the last battle for this event. And then tomorrow we got the new event. Bye down. Lay down. Lay down. Come on. You good boy. I just want to thank my three lurkers on YouTube. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you. On my Ooh, quest Pokemon, catch for it, catch it, catch monetization. Alright, permeable it is. You're an interesting Pokemon. Alright, now where is my other sparkling? Let's make you my buddy. Alright. Um, so you get to say one, two, or three, or fairy gladiator, or whatever. I'll work it out. It's fine. Uh, so there's fairies, flying rogues, and gladiators. So fairies are going to go pretty quick. So I'm going to close it when there is three people that have redeemed one or fairy. So that I can take alternates. Uh, fairies sold out. Claire, you missed out. I'm sorry. So if you want to pick something else, that'd be great. There is gladiator or flying rogue. Uh, let me open it. Fairy is sold out, guys. Well, let me refund your other one. There we go. Thank you. You didn't need to redeem again. You could have just set it in chat as well. That would work. Bob, fairy is sold out, dude. <laughs> um, what do you want instead, Bob? Uh, some, a couple others missed out as well. Okay, so we have Buck. We have Bell. And we have Cad. That's why I close the redemptions earlier. I, uh, you'll take the gladiator if the fairies are gone. Um, I'll have to see if there's gladiator. You did beat the gladiators. So that means everyone that's picked gladiator is going to have to either get a refund or flying rogues. And Ryla, even though he picked rogues, <sighs> is going to have to get a refund. So fairy, fairy, fairy. Claire. Uh, and Bob. 
so Ezreal and Taiman, Taiman, do you guys want a refund or do you want the flying rogue? Well, actually, Ryla still gets it because there's three. Yeah, just happy to have goods. No goods this time. Um. Every time you try to redeem, it won't let me. I only opened it very briefly because of how quick people redeemed. Ezil, I'm waiting. Ezil and Tymon, do you guys want a refund or do you want flying rogues? Yeah, like you need to be really fast because if I have like five people redeeming for two spots, um, you know, it gets really complicated. So as soon as one is filled, I tried to close it, but I was still too slow. And because I don't like having, you know, all this time that we're waiting now. Now, I still don't know what oh, you do want Flying Rogue. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, guys. So let me reset the loot. There was none left. Everyone should get four slots if you have max loyalty to me. Mm. I'm looking for the chest. It's like, where's the good chest? There is none. What did I get on my alt? I got Shinobi, Centurion, Musketeer, and Fairy. Anyone else get some nice fairies in there? Oh good. Oh good. It's my fault for being too slow for closing. <sighs> okay. It's time for me to start wearing gloves again. My fingers are freezing. 60 must, 50 cents, and 60 is at 50 zerx. Uh, probably the less better. Flying Rogue, Shinobi Monk, and Gladiator. All right, so let's throw body parts. Oh, that didn't help at all. I thought it said throwing. Ah, up, 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 up. up. I just need to make sure I am. Um... I wanted to go there. Oh, nice, you got fairy. How am I supposed to do this? How am I supposed to do this? Yes, I get dead flash can be a distraction. Thanks, Gabe. We don't like the first 3D mechanism. It should be a raffle for everyone who who wins. And no refunds. Well, that one rewards people for being in the channel. Normally I do do the raffle. But if I do it that way, then everyone's going to want to pick and it's going to take ages. Otherwise, why why do I have a super boss incentive? I don't know. I just I don't I don't I don't know. What does chat think? Do you prefer to be able to do it with channel points so that, you know, someone who just showed up to the chat doesn't get it instead? Oh, 
Oh my god, did I actually make it? Because, I mean, in the end, I'll do whatever you guys prefer. I mean, keep the redeem, but instead of first come, first serve, those also go into their own raffle, huh? So, in other words, don't base it on whoever has the lowest latency. How would I put only certain people into a raffle, though? redeem points to get into the raffle but how do I put them in the raffle like I can't manually insert names into the one that I use sounds complicated doing multiple raffles to choose each loot hmm it's locked with a simple lock Uh, with Daddy Ray out for a while, we can't roll out the giveaway tool with the new bot with the bot now. I don't think that would help either because I still can't manually put people in that. I don't think. You would need an automated mechanism. Yeah. Hi, I am Tapio. And I made monster sounds and vision sounds for this game. Yeah, I just love this monster. Uh, I think it was pretty. Because I could try to you could tell everyone like only these people enter, but then you the know pe other people are always going to do it. It sounds like a very big monster, but still very fast. And this I thought level is the high point of the lurker build-up. We sort of started an entrance level with the slime. <laughs> Try. Yep, it should also be stressful. Don't you dare come through the door. We just scripted to be that But it's nothing you notice because they're blending in with the truly tense. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I don't know which way to go. How's he getting through the door so quick? Should I just leave them open? <gasps> Personally, I think the way you do it is fine. It's less likely that you get loot snipers turning up just for the loot. Escape artist. Escape the creature in the water. Woohoo! Instead of loot, you would redeem points to get into the raffle if that's possible. I think Stream Elements has an option to use those kind of channel points. But the problem with Stream Elements points is that you don't actually need to be a real lurker to accumulate them. Um, which is annoying. Like anyone can just have the channel paused and they will get the points. And I prefer to offer it normally to people that are here counting as views being legit. This is the second mm. hub level of the game and it's supposed to give some contrast to this stressful lurker encounter. We think building up contrast like this is extremely important for the horror mood. Only by seeing a bright level can you appreciate the dark ones and so on. If you do not do this, the player will get used to the stuff and the effect will lessen great. Definitely take care of them. When I first started working on the elevator, I, I, know, I definitely don't appreciate the dark level. This is both a blessing and a curse. Concert art saves a lot of time for us artists, as we just have to cut what we see in the picture, but it also takes away some fun parts of our work, as we don't have to design anything ourselves. 
In this case, the console dot was very detailed and there wasn't much to change. However, I noticed that the roof part on the console was dark and dull. So that's where I could add details of my own. I added the patterns to fill out the empty space. I wanted them to fit with the eastern feel of the elevator and took inspiration from Arabic windows. In the end, it's not a very big addition. But it adds to the overall impression of the elevator as something exotic, but doesn't really fit in with the blue-gray stones of Brandenburg. How do I fix the elevator? Mr. Hart, what a mess. Wait, back hall. I came from the back hall. Why was that door closed then? I leave all my doors open. I need I need a trail of breadcrumbs. Oh Pokemon, catch it, catch it, catch it! After a short study, it's clear that the agitation found among the humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which triggers an endogenous response, cause the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where it is, what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human being... Oh, what the fuck? It seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process and ultimately arguments their experience of terror. This game's creepy, man. Let's see what you have to offer. Oh, no, I don't want to hear that. Further disappointment. The Aquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I am unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emit more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as would prove less of a hassle to acquire. I should have sharpened the saw, but I can sense it. It's definitely there. <laughs> okay.
Leave the poor dogs alone, man. What did you just write in the journal? This map was one of the most fun to make because of the rooms have more objects than we usually add in a level. Can I open this window? How do I get to that? Just because of this. But we can't add this many objects in every room in the game. Because that would, first of all, be very demanding on your PC's performance. And a lot of our players doesn't have gaming rigs. Secondly, it wouldn't make sense if every room or corridor was a storage. We also try very hard to vary the levels and rooms as much as we can do. This level was also the first time in the game the player had any contact with outside. So for this part, I had to make a couple of different wall pieces. A pine tree and a breakable version of the window. And I can talk a little bit more about the breakable window. Where will it, it be my turn? Breakable objects like this. We have to first of all break the model by splitting parts up and create pieces. Like on this window, it has a lot of wood parts that are loose after it breaks. Those parts are remodeled into broken versions and in the broken version of the window they're actually hanging in the air at the same place they were when the window was whole. After modeling those and exporting the model into Collado format, which our engine handles, I use our in-house model editor to set each wood part up with a body for collision and I also had to wait for it to behave really The decision to have the player go outside in this map started out as a quick and dirty idea for some sort of puzzle. However, it turned out very nicely and to see the trees really gives a feeling of being in a castle and not just on some set. The first idea was not even to have the player break the window and just have it open directly instead. But when we added it, we felt it gave a really nice feel and reward for finishing the puzzle. In retrospect, we should have had more moments when the player ventures outside as it gives this feel of being a part of a larger world. Build a breakdown again. Make sure to use this steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. The steam engine. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read 8 up, 8 down. Make sure the flow is set according to the Trinity stream functions, 4 phase amplitude, complete steam flow cycle. Now the machine will not check properly configuration. 8 up, 8 down. I don't remember where the elevator is. It's like half an hour ago, man. Oh wow. If I don't jump, do I fall? No. Where was the elevator? Eight up, eight down. Was it in the main hall? Or was it in one of the rooms? I don't remember. Let's go back. Up, eight down. Eight up, eight down. Eight up, eight down. Eight up, eight down. What? Where do I go to fix it? <sighs> no 
though I still had this. No. So I guess I need to go back and find a key or something. When I first started working on the elevator, I had detailed concept art as base for my work. This is both a blessing and a curse. Concept art saved a lot of time for us artists, as we just have to cut what we see in the picture, but it also takes away some fun parts of our work, as we don't have to design anything ourselves. In this case, the concept art was very detailed and there wasn't much to change. However, I noticed that the roof part on the concept was dark and dull. That's where I could add details of my own. I added the patterns to fill out the empty space. I wanted them to fit with the eastern feel of the elevator and took inspiration from a rabbit window. Hey, up. In the end, it's not a very big addition. Hey, down. The overall impression of the elevator as something exotic but doesn't really fit in with the blue gray stones of Brandenburg. I don't know how to get into the machine room. Did I miss a key up here somewhere? In the study? way is open. Exclamation mark loot people if you want the loot. and Wahooka. E.T. and Bob.
I'm sorry, I just gotta respond to this email. Pokemon, catch it, catch it, catch it. Just save this draft, whatever. Sorry, guys. Um... Fuck, where's my draft gone? All drafts. seen it. This is going to place. So get it real quick. And I will get back to the game. Sorry for the delay. I know I shouldn't check my emails during work. <laughs> Ready. Um, 
Let's go find something for the elevator. Somewhere. Or the control room door, I should say. Most trusted student and friend, Johan Weyer. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Persian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for. The last 20 odd years, it is as applicable as the Hydromus described it as the blah blah blah. It was as it was told, an underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthed artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich contrast is not enough to describe the nature. It was importantly, impossibly, impossibly an artificial paradox captured within stone. Does anyone else read as bad as me? I was staying in a nearby village called Alstot investigating one of the antique trails when I finally found the cavern I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts they were real I don't think I've finished reading that letter You can understand this is the most important discovery of my life, but it's also my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods, and I could sense something was following me. I obeyed loudly. As it closed in, the beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warm them as I passed. But unfortunately, they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me and the colors of the forest washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees turned to charcoal, black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as growing ember gave way to the rinsing rising wind and rained on me i could hear pleading screams in the distance and i joined in as their pain fear overtook me i fell to the ground gasping for air this certainly must sound strange but i had been carried miles across the alps to a greasy field outside genoa the guardian had taken the orb from me but still to this day i fear its return sometimes i lay awake at night listening for the howling cry i heard in the forest it has been nearly a decade since that day and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke about me, the last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research into the mystic orb, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Altstad. Your friend, mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Okay. And I care because. Can I break any more windows? This is the study. The study. That is the outside window. Do you know what? Let me go check out this door because maybe I missed this door earlier. I came in that door. Can I grab the bookcases and drag them? No. to be pretty fast if there was something in these drawers to try to get that out. Scared me. Hi, Oz chick. 
Thank you so much for the raid, lovely. I appreciate it. Thank you, Geo's Chick, for the raid of eight. Watch the clip on screen to see what they're about, or click the link in chat to check them out. Thank you so much for that lovely, lovely raid. I appreciate it. In the land of Kaya Chick with Variety Flow, she blasts through the games with South African Glow from Hogwarts to Bandicoots. Her streams are a hit with Overwatch battles and Hot Wheels is it. For Women's History Month, she gave skins away and in stream raid as well. Her troops always stay, so join in the fun. Be sleepy or not, Kaya streams is a place you'll never be caught. We're making our new magic beyond foe, a spooky adventure with Ain Chu. Wets. Get cu cu curious and scared together. It's an interesting raid spiel. It must be a Frosty Tools. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you so much for the raid of eight. I appreciate it. Let me get a kitty treat out. And if you want to pick a color for the koala, go, go, go. How goes the scaries? It's very fucking scary. I'm scared. And I'm kind of stuck. I don't know how to get to the get a door. So I think I need a key, but I'm not sure. I came in that one. Didn't see. Doesn't open. I don't like scary stuff. But I like puzzles, so we're giving it a go. Pretty sure I checked these. Did I? I like to leave stuff open if I've checked them. I guess I forgot. <gasps> Wait, is that a drawer as well? Is that a secret drawer here? No? I need a key, damn it. I don't know how to open the door. I mean, you look confident enough. No, I haven't even made it out of the wine cellar in this game. <clears throat> oh, you've played this? I'm not confident. It took me a little while to work my way out there as well. Um. Yeah, I've been a few times like, I don't know what the fuck to do. And then I accidentally find out what to do. Okay. I don't know what the fuck to do. Like now, I don't know what the fuck to do. Can I actually die? Oh. Okay, the answer is yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> don't jump out the window. <laughs> don't clip that. <laughs> okay. That was for science. It's fine. You attempted to? Did you make the concoction? You had to get some, um, find some bottles of potion and mix them together in the laboratory. Somehow. But yeah, I almost, um, wanted to quit a few times. Hey Malaki, how you doing? When will it be my turn? I have not shown restraint. My patience spans centuries from where I came. Mankind is not even a waste of breath yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you and I have gained nothing in return. Agipa, I trusted you. It was all I, in fairness, have entered that gate. Where's the fucking key, man? Gotta be a key.
Nope, you see the monster for the first time in the wine cellar and that's when I held it for. Oh, I squealed. <coughs> Oops. Wait, the first time in the wine cellar? No, I saw him somewhere else before that. He um, walked past me in a hallway. And I squealed like a little something. <laughs> Very embarrassing. I'm very scared, but I, I don't know how to get into this stupid thing. Okay, I don't see a key. How do I get into the machine room? What have I got? The hollow needle. No, that only worked on the other door. Oh, Pokemon, catch it, catch it, catch it. I don't know. If anyone has played this, uh, feel free to help me out because I'm at that point. That point, yes. Where I don't know what to do. I'm getting annoyed. I don't like being annoyed. What the fuck is this shit? Surely someone's played this and knows how to open the machine door. Can I make the jump? There's no way I'll be able to make that jump. Let me view something behind you, no. Can't, can't do anything. I don't know what else to see in these rooms. I've I've looked at everything. There's no doors. There has to be a reason why that other room exists. What other room? Like if you know the answer, just give it to me. Thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. Like, I need to get the elevator working. Uh, I don't know how to get the elevator working. I saw a thing that said up eight up, eight down, which I assume I gotta do in the machine room, but I don't know how to get into the machine room. Oh my god, there's another door there I haven't checked. I didn't see this door. How are we doing, Paige? Good to see you, lovely. Don't be annoyed. I can if I want to. Alright. Then give away. Um, so see how I'm 65 out of 100? When I hit 100, the next goal is going to be out of 150. They have updated it that you need to do 150 every time to unlock a skin now. It's nice though that they didn't make the current one change for people. Do they think it's currently too easy to get new skins? No. 
no, it's not profitable and they're losing too much money and they almost lost stream readers as a game. So they had to, they made more layoffs. Um, Thomas was one of them. So he's no longer with the company. Um, so they're an even smaller team now and they had to make it where stream readers is profitable because they're losing, I think it's 30 to 80 dollars every skin that they make. Um, so to make it profitable, they had to change the algorithm, how it works. So now it's going to be, for new people, it's going to be the same. It's still going to be 30 and 100 for the first two full skins, but then it's going to be 150, um, so that they can actually turn a profit. I don't know why they didn't originally do that anyway. It doesn't make sense to be losing money. Uh, page, page, and BT. Page, page, and BT. Uh, Dwop and CAD. CADzilla. And CADmius. Both the CADs. You guys. Um, but yeah, no, they, they did it all on their dev stream and explained it all and that was Thomas's final stream with them. He might still show up though, I think he said. Uh, put you over on that screen. Good news, my daughter's got a job interview uh, tomorrow. I'm really hoping that she gets the job because she's only getting two days a week and this is for a full-time job. So that'd be nice. Local too, so she doesn't have to drive half an hour to get to work. She's only got to drive like five minutes maybe, five, ten minutes. Good luck to her? Yeah, I hope so. It's a brand new place that's opening as well, so they need a few people. So hopefully, yeah, I don't know. She's got a lot of experience in the field, so here's hoping. How are you doing, Metek? Hello, hello. Alright, let's get back to it. Okay. Please let there be a fucking key for the machine room here, or I'm gonna get really annoyed. Again, there's a lot of elements here working together. Not only does the player enter the darkest level yet, they'll also come up against a dark part of Daniel's memories. We've tried to have all aspects of the level work towards this goal. Hopefully it creates an oppressive and disturbing field. Oh, it's disturbing, all right. Uh, let's go instruments first. It's disturbing, all right. Too many doors. I'm not gonna know which way I've been. Don't like it. Too many doors. Is this the door I just came from? Because I tried to leave my doors open. No, it's not. Find me a key, please. Uh, 
going to hear footsteps. I hope I don't have to go back and try to find the laboratory to mix this shit again. I didn't mean to turn that on. Oh my god. How are you? I'm uh, secretly shitting my pants because I'm not good with horror games and here's me playing a horror game. How are you? I have prepared the explosive you needed for clearing the flood drain. I can't stress enough how important it is that the mixture is handled with care. Please try to tell your feather-brained servants this before you go ahead with your plans. The liquids are not by themselves explosive and should be kept separated to avoid further mishaps. I have arranged two large vats in the next room for the ingredients. All you need to do is mix the liquids and you're ready to go. Which room? Which next room? This room? Which vat? Which vat? The valves rust, of course it's rusted shut. The lantern will light up dark places. Yo. A potion to contain mixtures of all sorts. Med medicine. I thought I I thought I found potions earlier. Rusted shut. How am I supposed to unrust with acid? I don't have stuff. Is this the room that I just came out of? I'm at work. Three more hours to go in the weekend. Oh, I didn't even realize it was fr what did no wait what what day is it today Thursday wait three more hours to go and then we can so you have Friday off nice I don't remember the last time I had a three-day weekend I usually um have one day off and then like so I had yesterday off and I have Saturdays off a drill bit, okay. Ooh, okay. Why is this door closed? Oh, I found a drill. Some items can be combined in the inventory. Drag and drop. What is this? Part of a broken hand drill. Part of a broken hand drill. Oh, I don't have all the parts. Damn it. Uh, Thursday and Friday off. You work 12 hour shifts? Ooh. I used to do that once upon a time. We used to get a week off. We used to have um, Monday night, Tuesday night. And then we would have Wednesday, Thursday off, I think, and then Friday night. Uh, no, Wednesday, one day off. Then Thursday night, Friday night, and then we'd work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But then we wouldn't work again until the next Monday night. Wait, no, the next Thursday night. Yeah, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, day shift. Then the following week, we would work Monday night, Tuesday night. And then we would work, not Monday, Thursday night, Friday night, sorry. And then uh, Monday, uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday night or something like that. I don't know. It was good to get a week off. It was a three-week rotating shift. Oh my god, Amnesia is such a scary game. You're so brave. No, I'm not. I'm sitting here with my ass clenched. <laughs> Not much cool for 12 hour shifts, high school teachers? No. You are correct. Um, no, I got it for free. So I kind of have to play it. Um, I did request it though. So it's my own fault. Because I like puzzle games. But I don't like scary games. And I'm running out of normal puzzle games. So I thought, you know what, I'll try a scary one. It's scary. I squealed. It was embarrassing. 
And I don't know what to do. I don't see another drill part. You picked one of the scariest words. Yeah. Okay, so there's got to be more drill parts. Give me that. How am I supposed to grab this up there? I'm here for you, thank you. Oh, the emote's live by the way, um, Rainshine. People that don't know who Rainshine is, oh, she's Pokemon. my amazing catch it, catch it. emote artist. We called it Nope. Is it behind something maybe? I don't think so. If I was a piece of a drill, where would I hide myself? I'm just going into the same rooms over and over. Why is this just randomly here? What do I get out of here? No, I just keep walking into the same rooms. Due to my lack of sense of direction. I need a map. <laughs> There's no map. So that thing's rusted. I wonder if I can get under the stairs. Probably not. Did I do this door? Oh, is that another drill bit? Uh uh. Uh uh. uh, -uh. Oh my god. How do I hide myself? Please don't find me.
Um, what do I do with the drill? How is this helpful? <laughs> also, wait, budge. Can I drill through it? No, Angel, of course not. I knew that was going to be a no. Instruments. I wish just down here, no? Oh, okay. I wasn't actually thinking that that would do anything. I'll take it. Partially filled pot. Do I need fill it more? One or two ingredients for creative the explosive. So where do I get the other ingredient? I don't see another. Yes I do. Yes I do. I don't even know what I need to use this on. Yes, I do. Maybe. I could find my wine way back where I just was. The sign that said machine parts. Uh, where was the one that said machine parts? No, it was not here. Yes, it is here. Maybe I can explode this. Oh yes, don't stand close when it goes off. How do I make it go off? Do not set it so so before you safely out of the blast area. I don't know how to set it off. How do I set it off? Go. <laughs> Sweet, that works. At first, the hunted girl sequence was just another scare. But as the story took shape, it just became a great plot point. Which was, this is when Daniel snaps. He does all these weird and evil things, but he, he tells himself the ends justify the means. And, but when he finally kills the girl, he just can't make up excuses anymore. So he goes mad, and as a final attempt of saving himself, he drinks the Amnesia Potion. Of course, the player won't realize this as he encounters this first sequence, but it becomes clear when he finds the last diary pages explaining the situation, making it all come full circle. Oh, 
Avoid looking at enemies too long, it will drain your sanity. Let me in the fucking door. I don't want to be on the side with the monster, man. Fuck game. What the fuck? Give me that stupid candle. Get the fuck out of me, even though I knew they were there. What do I do? Reception. I don't know what I have and haven't done. Wait, isn't this the area I just blew up? No? Machine parts. Machine parts. Machine parts. <laughs> oh, don't touch that, you die. set of three rods is unavailable. There is one rod in the inner study rooms which might work in the case the elevator breaks down again unless it's absolute necessary. So always use spare rods in a storage before using a mended one. I'm fine. I'm fine. Giveaway is open. Thank you to my four lurkers on YouTube <laughs> watching me play a horror game.
Pokemon, catch it, catch it, catch it. Jill and Duff. Up and Cad. Uh, Cadmius. Bag and Page. All right, thank you guys. Hi, nerd. Wow. Wow. Why are my timestamps off? I turned you on. <laughs> You're good. Thank you, lovely. I only need 289 more subs for monetization on YouTube. I'll get there in another year. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, I don't know. All right. Let's continue. But how do these help me? Machine part made out of wood and metal. Machine part made out of wood. So I have the rods. But I don't know how to get into the um, machine. Machine room. I'm getting like IRL chills from this game. Ah! What do I do? Even the the rock is trembling with fear. Never see me. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. I don't think I'll be able to jump up in that roof. No, 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 no.
Are they supposed to be scared of the light? Why are you so fast, man? Where can I hide? breathing What happened to all the rocks that were down here? Walking. You keep walking, huh? Yeah, I'd be running too, mister. Fuck off! Nobody likes you, man. No problem, Paige. Thanks for popping in. I appreciate it. I don't actually know what to do. Don't die. But that's what I do best in games. Dying. So I can't open this door. Do I have anything to open the door? It's not locked. Why do I still have a drill? There's nothing here anymore, Ann. Guess I you try to find my way back out of here. That's the front part. So freaking lost. No. I don't want to go that way. I want to go back. Go that way. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Okay, so I'm safe in this room. 
This door's locked though, like I don't know how to how to open this door. anyone knows do tell because I'm scared alone and I don't know what I'm doing I don't know how to get into the machine room. I've been in this door and I've been in the next door. I even need the elevator if I'm up here. If I could have blown this up instead, if I would have kept that potion. I don't know what to do. I've been in here too. Switch, no. Second of July, eighteen thirty nine. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned 
without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs. Oh, Pokemon, catch it, catch it, catch it! What to make of it? But I'm worried for him. I'm sure I've been in here. Have I not actually been in here? Because there's a letter on the desk. Yes, I have it. July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colourful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? This shouldn't be. So I've definitely done those rooms and this is the only other room unless I go back out which is not the right way to go should have been obvious could I possibly need from the storage? How do I open that door that I can't get in? Exclamation mark loot if you want the loot.
Pad, Dwup, and Ryla. Pad. Does anybody else want some stuff? And page. All right, I'm going to be Abby. Oh, you are way too slow, Flesh. You are way too slow. Uh, I'm going to be Abby, though. So feel free to take this time to get up with a stretch, hydrate, grab a snack, or do what you need to do. And I shall return shortly. Have a good break. Yeah, I just gotta go put my washing in the dryer and use the bathroom. So I'll be back in a few minutes. But he just got comfortable. Oh, look at that. He heard that a mile away. You wanna stick your face in it again, don't you? Yeah, you want you wanna you wanna have a go? Lucky dip. <laughs> Lucky dip. <laughs> How many did you grab? He never grabs just one. He's... wow. Did you grab a mouthful and then spit them out and eat them one by one? Mum. Mum. Mum! I don't want to go to school. I don't want to do my homework. I don't want to go to bed. I don't want to eat this. Mum. 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 Are we there yet? Mum, I'm hungry. Can you make me some food? Mum. Mum, I want this. Mum. Mum. Now he's hungry. I offered him bread earlier. Good daddy, Ray. I want the sausage. I want to eat you. Can I eat you? Oh, Pokemon. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Oh! <gasps> I was kidding. I didn't actually mean to eat him. Oh my god. Am I meant to eat him? Is that what happens? Or are you meant to try to grab the sausage? I was just being funny. Now I just... Oh man. Now I just feel like a piece of shit. Buddy. Buddy. Come back to me. Oh. Every time he picks someone up, it's like he's picking me up. Are you kidding? Did you really just... No! No! What the fuck? Look at him. Look at him. He's got like... I love it when he does like the little bunny. The little bunny. Like a little bunny. Don't, don't lick me! Don't lick me. I don't like being licked. This is so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. You're so cute. Just you are. Oh, he's going to get feisty. Don't lick me. <sighs> Who cares about the nitro races? Isn't this like the most gorgeous thing? I love sticking my finger in here. <laughs> it feels so nice. <laughs> <laughs> like fuck off mum okay how do I look is this what you want to see is this what you want to see I can even bloat my cheeks look oh my god I look I look like I look like the duck face 
Come on. Give the hamburger a kiss. Mm. Yeah. See? This. This is fucking creepy. My excuse is I'm not, I wasn't born here. I've been here since I was six, but I wasn't born here. It's not my first language. It's the only language that I know, but I was... I wasn't born here. <laughs> Shut up. A rip, 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 rip. There once was a puppy dog. That was smaller than a cat. There once was a tiger. Which could be worn as a hat. We'll play patty cake, patty cake. <laughs> your little secret. I know your secret. The one where I lay in the fetal position at night crying? Rachel, we know it's you, mate. Just be honest. Be honest and we'll yeah, yeah, leave your life. It's yeah. not me. Be honest and we won't kill you. Your teammate ratted you out, mate. <laughs> we, we won't kill you. Just leave us alone. <laughs> Why can't we all be friends? We won't hurt you. Just leave us alone. Uh, we will help you. Can I trust you? Oh man, you need to change Honestly, Alex isn't here to like praise her. Should we just Did my teammate just throw the game? Yeah. <laughs> and say, so, wow. <laughs> he, he, he threw you under the bus. Bro, <laughs> <Yeah. solid pack. coughs> what an ass. Me and then use the flesh. You could go what an Alex ass. If you want. <laughs> but it's not me. He goes, he goes. It's not me. I'm just having a yeah, bad hair day. I like you too. I really like you, Hazel. You're beautiful. And Sorry about that, it took a bit longer than expected. It was all tangled up trying to get it in the freaking dryer. <sighs> hey, buddy. You good? You good? Where were we? Where were we? Um, I don't know how much more I've got of this game because I don't know what I'm doing. So if anybody knows and wants to help me on how to get the lift going or to get into that machine room, please speak up now. Um, or I'll end up rage quitting. Uh, because I am over it. <laughs> Trying to find out how to get in there. So if you know, please speak up. I can't be asked looking through a walkthrough. Um, if you want to, that is your prerogative. But yeah, feel free to help me out. Oh, Blake, can you not do that, please? Can you not lick my fingers, man? Don't be weird. Done all this. Do you like the soap I use to wash my hands or something? Is that why you're licking me? Can you stop it? You're creeping me out. Oh, Pokemon, catch it, catch it, catch it. Done that, done that. Yeah. 
And I've done that. There's nothing I can do with this anymore. Are you looking at my microphone now? Stop it. Don't be weird. Why you gotta make it weird? Blake, cut it out please. I mean, the blood trail goes to here. I need to get in this door. Ow. I tried all this shit. What am I missing? Oh, hello. What am I missing? We need to hang stuff on the chains.
Bloodstained piece of cloth from a young woman's dress. Meaning what? And open these. Thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. I, I really don't know. What to do? And I'm ready to quit. Open the damn door! If anybody knows what I need to do, now is the time to tell me. I don't know how to get the lift going. I don't know how to open this door. I don't know how to open the machine room door and I am I've had enough. Find the key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room. Where? Find a way to start the engine. Find the key. Where? Where's the freaking key? I feel like I need to get into that room, but I don't know how. And I feel like I've searched everywhere. I've checked the instruments 500 times.
No one has a suggestion? I want to try to have to look through a walkthrough. You find it in the guest room. Are you kidding? Enter the guest room, pick up the crowbar, and pry open the door on the right. The key is behind the painting. Fuck you, game. Anyway, giveaways open if you want the loot. Come on, catch it, catch it, catch it. <laughs> Renan and Cadzilla. and Bob. And do up. Does anyone else want a paladin? Going once, going twice, going a random. Yeah, coded. Okay, put you over there. Oh my god, did I forget to show the battle? Did I forget to show the whole battle? So sorry. Hey, thank you for the like on YouTube, Daddy Ray. Much appreciated.
happily if I missed the fucking thing in the guest room. Where's the crowbar? I even tried to open that door last time. You see, crowbar. Let me know. In this room, everything is connected to destruction and home. This was Daniel's home as Alexander's guest, and the diary entries are about Daniel being home in London and things falling apart. These sort of connections are not something that we want the player to get, but rather it should end up in the subconscious and work towards building the mood. Also worth noting is this focus as explained in the commentary of Wine Cellar, where we want the player's attention on a certain aspect. We hope this makes the story clearer. The idea is to slowly build it up one part at a time, giving the Have a good one, Janique. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. About it. Definitely haven't. P oh my god, there it is. So stupid. I wonder if I can use the crowbar to do that other door that I couldn't get into downstairs as well. Let me keep it. Nope. <clears throat> to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange.
We have no reason to check in here. I'm not in here, dude. Go away. What do I do? Peekaboo. <laughs> what do I do? I'm so dead. I can't even get out. I do. Did I get the key? I didn't get a key. Can you kill me so this is over and done with, buddy? I knew your mother can love that face. I guess it is a good place to hide in then. What? How did I just not die? I don't know how I didn't see that when I went in there the first time. Pantatively trying his best to keep himself from screaming, the medicine cabinet heavy nerve internally collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. This is another one of those contrast levels, this time calming the player down for what will happen once the elevator is finally running. The map is still dark though, giving a bit of foreboding for what is about to happen. Hmm, so you're saying I should be scared? Fifth of July, 1839. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. I remember it saying eight up and eight down, so five, six, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wait, the bottom's different. Five. Oh wait, that's two. No, I don't want you up. I want you in the middle. 
Because it said eight up, eight down. The flow is even and stable. <clears throat> Pretty happy because uh, I think it looked very interesting with all the pipes coming from random places and going throughout the level. But I was also a little bit worried because it looked so time consuming to create all the, pl the pieces and placing them in the level. But in the end, I was right about that because it did take a lot of time to make everything fit together. But I also think it was worth it because uh, it's a very interesting looking level and we also use the same pipe system for other levels. As for all the pipes in this level, I modeled and textured them in Maya. I think there are 26 different pieces of pipes that I made. Doesn't matter which one I goes in where or not. pieces used in this level into Maya as well. Make a temporary little map to check the pipes were correct length and all. I also had to make sure all the pipes snap and align well at 0.25 meters in every axis. Otherwise, placing all the pipes in the level would be nearly impossible. Of July, oh, Pokemon! Catch it, catch it, catch it! Every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. You could say from a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Exclamation mark loot. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Cad, uh, Greasy, and Paige. If anyone else wants to reward, uh, do speak up. Because there is rewards left over. Anyone else want something juicy? Two more golds. Two more golds and two lots of two healers. Going once. Going twice. Okay, going random. Oh wait, I missed a letter up there too, didn't I? How has this escaped me? They're all dead. I think I did. Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. What work does it need? God, tell me I don't need to carry a spoke from like three sections over. a letter in here, didn't I? 
Note, there are only two spare rods left in storage for the elevator. I already knew that. Really? What else does it need? What else do you need? There's nothing in the burner. There's nothing in the burner for it to ignite. Am I supposed to try to shovel this somehow? Finally. Finally, it's happened to be. Alright, so that should be the elevator working. Assuming I remember how to get back there. Please don't blow up on me. Don't touch the hot pipes. I'd be a little annoyed if I die. This elevator ride is actually constructed like one of a Swedish theme park. It's not the elevator that moves, but the wall. I assume movies use the same trick a lot. that orb was like pushing a star into the night sky it wasn't supposed to happen the shadow isn't some vengeful spirit it is the universe catching up with itself am i back in the same room chapter introduces the dungeon based set. It was designed to look older and more warm than the castle based set. It's supposed to show the original pieces of the castle but hasn't been rebuilt over time like the newer area. The original pieces of the set were a bit blocky due to the tiling but as special pieces were added you could start to build more varied levels. In the final game we're using the dungeon based set for prisons, shrines and sewers.
Previously in the game, it has been all about events in the past, but with these prison levels we wanted to bring it to the present and many events experienced are happening here and now. An example of this is the prisoner being dragged off hey, at the start of kitty. the level. Here also starts the most encounter intense part of the game, and we were a bit unsure on how much enemies we could add. We added what we thought was enough, but after some testing and feedback, we decided to add even more. I kind of grab that. Am the I amount of encounter kept? experience depends a bit on how you play the level, but hopefully you should feel constantly oppressed. Since this was the last level that this enemy has a greater part in, we did not fear overusing it either, so I think the amount of enemies here is pretty nice. No, I don't think the amount of enemies here is nice at all, buddy. Fuck no. No, it's not nice at all. You have to carry on, do I? I don't know. Oh, Pokemon, catch it, catch it, catch it. Too many doorways, like, I don't know. Which way to go? Or which way I've been? I need to listen to that stuff because if I didn't see the hole I wouldn't have worked it out. How do I make the hole bigger? Can we drill it? Didn't think so. It's locked, however, the lock is weak and corroded. Maybe I could pick up a rock and hit it.
What else could be needed? A hammer? Guess I need to find a hammer in a room. You have no reason to come in here. Do not come in here. Oh, for fuck's sake, go away. Really? Did you just spawn me in front of the monster? Fuck, I don't remember. Which way? Oh yes I do. I remember this chair. These lanterns, these have like fuck all oil in them. So what was the object of me getting into this room? A teeny bit of oil. Really? Really? That's that's what I got. Out of a locked door. Teeny bit of oil. Where's that one that had a hole in it? Can I chip the hole and make it bigger? Yes I can! Exclamation mark loot will get you into the loot. Alright, so we got three lots of flying rogues, three um, lots of the lancers, and three lots of the gladiators. Last chance to get it.
Add Todd and Renan. Bob, Dewop, and Robo. Does anyone else want something? Does anybody else want stuff? Still have some gladiators. Only single scroll though. Once. Thank you. Going twice. Going random. To my five lurkers on YouTube now. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. We're up to 60 on Twitch. Yay for us. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Lexi. I don't know if you know, you can change your, um, like, if you wanted to, I'm fine. I know who you are, so it doesn't bother me. Um, you can actually change your YouTube name to be the same as your Twitch name. Like, my official YouTube name is Angel Nia, but it comes up as Angel. You didn't know? Yeah, it is a uh, YouTube name. You go to your YouTube channel. Customize, basic info, change name, and hit publish. Can I go back out? Okay, so I'm stuck now. I can't go back. No problem. You are welcome. I have a command for it on Twitch. It's called exclamation mark Y T name. So go to your channel, customize, basic info, change name, and hit publish. You have to hit publish though for it to work, obviously. Come on, I can fit between this rock. A goal with this level is trying to get the player feel a bit claustrophobic. Oh, it's Further working. Off, we start the level in a tight space, letting the feeling hit you directly. Then the idea was to actually decrease the horizontal view, squeezing the view together. But it became a bit problematic, and we felt that the design of the level was enough. It is very dark and can be hard to find your way. Why do I do that? Which is actually kind of surprising, since the level has a really simple design, but because of some dead ends and similar looking locations, it can be quite hard to navigate. In the end, we also put up some signs to help the player along and get the right balance between annoyance and disorientation. It's quite hard when you want to expose the player to negative feelings that we might make them quit the game, but it's a fine line to thread and I'm sure not everybody will get the right experience, but I guess that's just what one of those risks you will have to take in the interactive media. Go stick your hand in there. Okay, so I need a glass vase. They didn't like that one. The bottleneck is too narrow for the flask to be filled without spilling the acid, but a glass container idea is. Okay, so I need to find... This pig was the first object that I ever tried to rig as a ragdoll, and I'm pretty satisfied with the end result. I'm a little rusty when it comes to making organic creatures like this, so this was basically the, the only model that I had as a little ongoing project that I could get back to work on when I had some time off from other work. All other models uh, are pretty much on a tight deadline, so it was nice to have this model that I could back, get back to work on. Need a glass bottle. Almost as practice. When I started to model the pig corpse, I thought right away that I needed to do it right from the beginning. So I googled a lot of pig pictures. So since we wanted a rotten look to it, you can imagine I found a lot of weird pictures. Other than the look of the model, the only difference from creating a prop is the fact that Thanks, you have Daddy to Ray. the mesh. 
so it's nice for animations as well as good for importing to a sculpting program like a Mudbox or ZBrush. In those applications you add details to the model, pretty much like a clay sculptor, and then you transfer those changes to the normal map that you use for the in-game model. I used ZBrush in this case. 2nd of August, 1839. I, was, uh, I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination. Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening. Oh, the Pokemon! Catch it, catch it, catch it! The coach since Bremen advised me to wait until morning before I venture healthy, further. But I think I've arranged for a bed nice, at Der Mühle, the village's only work. inn, and am now waiting but for the sun to, to rise. More work, I try to, to sleep, more time, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. Skin it so that each part of the big, big model moves with the correct bone. Oh my God, he's still talking. Used our in-house model editor to set it up with bodies with weights for each individual individual part, like the legs, head, and body. Then I connected it all together using joints and done right. Correct weights for each body. Oh, piss off. Where am I supposed to hide? There's no way to hide. Bernie, I could throw him into the vat. Don't go left, don't go left, don't go left. Don't oh, go left. Where'd he go? God, there's too many ways to go. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. You right there, buddy? You don't look so good. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. 
Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well-versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun... I don't know how to blow the candle out. Please don't knock on my door. What, what am I supposed to do? There's nowhere to hide. It's like I can get under the bed frame. You know what, if you could break down just every door that I've already been in so I know where I've been, that'd be great. Kalina, let's go to Kalina. Wait, Kalina's where I started. Mother trucker. Alright, well let's go to reception. Reception. like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. No, I want to be on the other side of the door. What the fuck game? Hey, <laughs> what the fuck game? Fuck off. Oh my god, I'm so dead. Yeah, because I, I wanted to lock myself in the room with the monster. That's definitely what I was going for.
Yes, the glass jar. The glass jar. Now I need to find that room back with the oil. The acid. Fuck, like I have any idea where that was. Oh my god, what do I do? Can I just sit here and hide? No, no, why? 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 Why you gotta come this way? Fuck off. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Fuck, he's first. No way, is this the room? No way. Can I throw the acid on his face? That'd be nice. Apparently locking yourself in with the monster was not a great idea. No, but I, I didn't mean to lock myself in with the monster. It was an accident. Age, Wahuka, and Bob. Saint Scrolls, Lord. 
Fill up and catered. Someone at the door. Uh, and Robo. And bag. I just gotta get the door. A minute. Uh, give me a minute. I just gotta go grab the door. Pokemon, catch it, catch it, catch it. Apologies. Oh, I should check if I um have my Pokemon. Nope, it's still an egg. Um, Rick Daily. One more. Shut up, mice. You're gonna get me killed. Um, what did I need acid for? Maybe? Oh, maybe that door that I can't open. That has a really good lock. Yes? No? I want to go back. Okay, let's go left. So I must have been going this way. So I go straight. Acid? Come on, of course it would be good. Fuck. 
Then where do I go? Not to the area cellars? Oh, hello. No, that's not a through road. condition. Got it. Yes. No, no, no. Close the damn door. some life is needed and that is what we want to give the player right now we also wanted to have an environment that did not look like anything else the player has seen so far when the player has endured the dark and gloomy dungeon levels we wanted to give some sort of award for coming so far and this level is supposed to be that award the sound of water is also found quite soothing for most people so really it makes me need to pee i don't find it soothing out only to be more acceptable for scares later on, of course. Do I need to refill the empty glass jar? The lever is stuck, it needs greasing. Can I grease it with water? No, but I can grease it with oil. Because, you know, put oil in a glass that you've had acid in. The water is too deep. Oh, it keeps going down, okay. My glass. Why can't they make games like this that aren't scary? The broken pipe. However, it got somewhat damaged by the impact. lift it back up and break it yes why would you have a pipe sticking out where a ladder goes anyway I figured I add a little something about the commentary why it is in the game and how we did it. As you probably have noticed by now, the quality of the recordings are a bit different. Oops. We tried our best, but as we do not have an office, everyone had to clear. I wasn't done listening to that. I didn't think that door would open, or I wouldn't have opened it yet. I was not done. There's two levers out next to it. The other one doesn't want to work. Mm. 
This map is all about themes and the action the player does are meant to reflect what's happening in the diary. The player needs to turn the vaults in order to progress, but at the same time, things go bad every time this is done. The level gets darker, the sound of someone being trapped gets louder, and the water lurker seems to be coming closer. Everything tells the player not to turn the vault, yet it must be done. Something that reflects how Daniel feels in the diary. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going, and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon, where he preferred to tempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled only by Da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenburg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Down, right? Down, not up. level came from me visiting the Basilica sister in Istanbul. The fun thing was that Jonas, the concept artist who drew the design, had also visited it the same summer. Oh, I was trying to avoid that. The fishes that can be found were also inspired by the real thing. How am I supposed to know which ones I've turned and which ones I haven't turned? Is there a fucking monster in here again? Turn them all to the right. So I've done that one. Wait, is that the one that I just did then? And if it is, there was one here too, yes. Wait, hang on. Redirect sewer water.
Pokemon, catch it, catch it, catch it. I go to where these lights were? Yeah, I definitely need to get out and get up there. Where's the rest of that pulley though? Don't know how to, 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 to the sign. figure that bridge. The same summer, so we knew precisely what it was after. The fishes that can be found were also inspired by the real thing. I need to turn that. How do I get up here to turn that? It's not letting me jump up there. I need to get to this. I don't know how to drop this. I doubt very much I can jump this way. game. Don't make me mad. for the follow, I appreciate it. What if one of those wheels that I turned was for this?
Oh, I can't pick you up now? anything I can think of that maybe one of those wheels that I turned actually turned that bridge as well. But which one? Is this what? No, this is where I came in. We don't want that. What do I? Stop giving me full damage. That hasn't helped here with the flood at all. Trees are open. Thank you. 
What do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five people only. And we've got seven rewards. Does anyone else want to jump in? Exclamation mark loot. We have Renan and Coded. And do up. And Musketeer for Paige and Bob. Does anyone else want some something? Sorry, I got the hiccups. Let's go grab a drink. A drink, yes. I am actually drinking Game of Subs. I'm drinking caffeinated melon. Oh, I got the AFK one as well. Um, to see if it would help me sleep. Now, my two housemates, it's helping them. But it's not helping me. I'm so pissed off. It's like, why? Why does it work for them and not for me? I'm not happy. I'm just a special case. I got the grape flavor if anyone's wondering. Oh, I forgot to ping the boss chest. Good job, Angel. try one more time and see if I can adjust the lever to make that big bridge go down which is over there right because there was two levers here wasn't there or not was there two different things no but that one said it was a water redirect anyway so it's definitely not the one that I'm looking for I do not want the water redirect. I want a different lever. Hopefully drop that drawbridge. I just came in that way. How many more times am I going to do that? <sighs> oh, Pokemon, catch it, catch it, catch it. Oh, but this one also says redirect sewer water. Where's that one that I turned that didn't say that? Okay. 
me see if that has now dropped the bridge. Otherwise, I have no idea how to make that bridge drop. And that wasn't it. We're going to die again trying to turn it back off. As I was saying. Yeah, I'm just going to I'm just going to go the other way. Am I not meant to redirect it to there? If I could find a crate that I can actually carry around, that could be helpful. Because then maybe I can jump onto that and then jump onto the ledge. Those ones didn't move. I'm pretty sure they didn't move. Yeah, they don't move. I don't see any here. I don't think there was any here either. At least none that move. I don't know how to drop that drawbridge. Oh my god. Wait, it's attached to a rusty chain in the ceiling. Yeah, I know that. How do I get rid of the rusty chain in the ceiling? Rusty. I did try to throw a brick on there. If I need to try again. Why would it specify rusty? Such a bad shot though. to do it. Oh wow if I right click it actually shoots forward I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah a bitch. the water level in the system to reveal a new way out. August 1839. <sighs> it is still early and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. 
Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. I believe I finally got it. It was only by accident that I right clicked and I realized that the rock went flying. Of course I don't remember which way I came. Are you kidding? There is a monster in the pool. How am I supposed to go back to my door now? I can walk on that? No way. Hang on it. Pull! How do I keep it down? Yo, I'm gonna go do the water. Oh, fuck, stop doing that, Angel. <coughs> but you guys can't even see anything on the screen. Wait, why am I dying? <coughs> the fuck, man? Brightness. It hurts my eyes every time the screen does that. How did we find this place? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Why isn't he with us? Didn't he want to come? He wanted to, Daniel. But things don't always turn out the way we planned. And I get the purpose of this room because I can't adjust anything. This level consists of three parts of a puzzle. For each part you complete, you get one step closer to getting the machinery running. It does not matter which order you do it in, so you can complete the level as you like. 
When I scripted this level, I made a basic function for completing a puzzle. Then I added some specific tweaks to each puzzle to make them unique. And then finally a grand version of a complete puzzle function to make it really noticeable when you finished all three of them. I got surprised when several testers said that it was not clear as to when they completed the whole level. That on the first puzzle it was really nice, but that on the second and third puzzle they did not really notice that they had accomplished something successfully. As I was about to start working on this, I noticed something really strange. I had for testing purposes made it so that when completing the first puzzle you would get the grand puzzle completion function, which meant that the first puzzle had a big bang of events while the other two would only have the minor small puzzle completion events. What do it I need this like for? This since I finished the level, so no one had never no, experienced I didn't the open actual it. sequence of events meant to take place. This type of bugs are pretty nice to fix because you only fix your own stupid mistake and then all is done. I don't get what to do with this thing. Kula, thank you for the raid. How was your stream, buddy? Uh, Welcome on over. Is, uh, thank you, cool underscore Azure Flame, for oh, the raid of two. Watch the clip on screen to see what they're about, or no click the link and that. check to we check them out. I hope you had a lovely, lovely stream. How was your day? What were you playing? You're playing some DBD. Oh, I did that the other day. Believe it or not. Oh. oh, it was good. I had a mix of games. Oh, yeah. What else did you get up to? Let's go. Uh, thank you again for sharing your community with me in the land of streams both bright and tame lives a variety player cool as a name with cards in hand and a dvd fame the shenanigans in the fog the water game from virginia's hills to oven's defeat they switch from killer to survivor's seat home challenges and pips they meet oh the places cool as azure flame stream will lead We have Dawop, Bob Ross, and Coda. Dawop. Bob Ross. And Coda. Maybe three rewards. A stingy. like this map I don't don't I don't oh Pokemon catch it catch it catch it Sandy Gas is a C tier a ghost ground Pokemon catch it if you want it that one with a good ball I need to find out where these freaking pipes go. They're lighting up, so they gotta go somewhere. I 
probably don't need to keep that open. Does this need to be in or out? What have we here? Crank. It wouldn't crank. What do I do with a crank? Let there be light. This puzzle's above my pay grade. Whatever it takes. Another pipe. I know the game is dark in the title, but damn. It's even showing darker for you guys than it is for me. Maybe I can... Is that better? Oh, it says I need a restart for it to take effect. You still can't see. Where does this go? This isn't helpful. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Am I meant to copy that one? Can I not adjust where this goes? Oh, where were the others? I get the one from this room? Did I get the one from this room? Did I just go in the same room twice? Oh no, I dropped one in the middle, didn't I? I dropped it here somewhere, didn't I? Where the fuck? Did I drop it? <sighs> it's fine, it's fine. All the same shape though. None of these move. missing one I'm missing one where is it is that the one that I accidentally brought in here and then lost
It's my own fault for throwing shit around. Was there not one in here? Don't see you. What have I done with it? I grabbed two from out here. So where is the third one? Why did I have to touch stuff? That's the way in. And I literally just grabbed this one. So it has to be over here. I think it's the one that I fucked up, but I don't know where it's gone. Why is it gone? I threw one near one of these earlier. I'm not going to want to play anymore. I'm getting... Very tilted. I know I dropped one next to one of these. Give me my fucking rock back. game there's no way I left it outside like I'm sure you can't bring it through 
areas. Maybe if I go back now, it'll be set or something, I don't know. What is that doing? I don't think I could do this before, could I? The purpose of that was what? I can't move them anymore. Oh, this one I can. Missed. I don't know what to do. I wonder if I need to do it the same height as the other one. How high are you? wonder oh pokemon catch it catch it catch it that's about the same height right
slightly lower. Okay, cool. How high is this one? One box. Two box. One, two. Three big boxes. completely wrong but I just don't know what else to do Three. middle down three and a little one. One, two, three and a little one. Biggie gap. <sighs> I don't know. I think that's right. I'm supposed to get that last pipe from up up down down up up down mm -hmm. what did that do Where is the final fucking pipe? Can't find it. You remember the area but you've forgotten the details? I think I accidentally picked up the pipe before and dropped it in the middle here. Like I picked it up and I threw it in here. Like yeah I'll use that later. And But now I can't find it back here. Because I'm sure I put it next to one of these earlier.
Um, but I have no idea what the fuck to do. And I'm getting very tilted. I obviously need to find an extra pipe piece to shove on this stupid wall. But where is it? Like, I'm clearly missing one. It's not in this room. It's not in this room. The only other option is back here. In these two rooms, which had them as well, but I've brought them over. No pipe. And I'm not sure what to do with these if I'm meant to make them the same height as the other room. I've done that. As far as I can tell. I don't see a fucking pipe. The only other thing is out and you can't bring a pipe through. Um, if you know, let me know because I'm getting over it. Like, I, I, if you know, tell me. It's not a spoiler, I just, I want to fucking know or I'm gonna quit. Because I've had enough. Giveaway is open, exclamation mark loot. So is it part of another pipe system? Or are you just guessing? Because I could have sworn I saw four earlier. Guessing. Bob and Page. Anyone want some Saint Scrolls apart from Coded?
You think those weights have to be mirrored in both rooms? I tried to do that. I don't know if I got it exactly though. Um, uh, but I tried to mirror the weights and I tried to mirror the levers. Ouch. What is his gas? Can I just outrun it? Our venomous stench from behind the door going further without a vaccine would be fatal. Where do I get the vaccine from? Oh my god, is that what? No. No. Oh, Pokemon, catch it, catch it, catch it. Did see in the walkthrough that I was supposed to do that. Oh, that didn't work. I believe it doesn't stay down. It said to throw the rock on the bridge though, it didn't say to throw the rock on here. I got no chance of making that. Um, I'm all for spoilers right now guys if anyone uh, wants to help me out. I can't. 
can't even reach that. Find a way. I'm trying to find a way, asshole. Fine. No, no, no. I, d I don't want I, d I was kidding. I don't want you to go up. Come back down. Come back down. Please, come back down. Must be a YouTube video. Yeah, I just tried to go through one. Didn't help. Because I'm not at the right spot and I don't really have like an hour where I could just tab and watch a walkthrough and try to play. And honestly, it's no fun if I gotta keep going through a walkthrough. But if you've got the time <laughs> and the know how, uh, I'd more than appreciate it. Where can I find a spare piece of pipe? And how do I know which pipe isn't used? It should light up though, like you know when you or put a hand or something, shouldn't it? I don't see a piece of home. I managed to get these both to go in by copying this. The video that I just watched was the uh, the guy doing the stuff that I did down in the water but then as soon as he finished doing the stuff in the water he managed to go through that door that I just almost died going through because I don't have whatever vaccine it is. So did I miss something down in the water? Or is it to do with the puzzle up here?
if I mean making a vaccine. I don't know. I don't know, he's got those pipes that I can't get working. This isn't even drained now. Is that a door? Can I move this shit? Probably not. Can I blow it up? A wooden crank. A crank for a machine. What machine? Let me through. I really don't have the foggiest. I really don't have the foggiest. Three years ago. Where is your episode? Amnesia 11. So ten.
Giveaways open, exclamation mark loot. Pokemon, catchy, catchy, catchy. There's no pipe there for me, mister. It's an AT very Pokemon. Maybe I only need three pipes. Does anyone else want to scroll? Oh, Bob. You know what? I'll take this one. Fuck it. I think he only has three pipes, this guy. That's how. Because the game is just too freaking dark. You'll get it. Well, if it's three pipes, I could probably work it out. Okay. Yeah, he did it with three. So I'm gonna, why the fuck did I play that? I'm gonna try and rearrange it. Yeah, I'm going to try it with three. So I need to find my way back out now. Because I only needed three pipes. But why is there holes for four then? And why does it make you think you had four? And I don't know, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. I would have just tried to keep guessing if I knew I only needed three. I was sure that I had another pipe, so I must have thrown a pipe in the middle somewhere, grabbed it, and already put it in. <sighs> I'm so annoyed. So annoyed. I fit through that, I can. I'm getting really sick of opening this fucking door. But let's do it properly. Stupid door. Let me in. Open. Open. Daniel? Is that you? What are you doing? Now what? What, what did that do? What did it do? Fifteen years ago when it came out, 
It was that long ago. See, I feel like these are on the right spot, but I don't know. I don't know if any of that did anything. Why are these down again? I did these earlier. Are you shitting me? Does that mean these are fucked too? So that one hangs below the pipe, that one hangs below the nut, and that one hangs above that one. This one is lower. not even the same. This one isn't on the right spot but it won't let me move that one anymore. Can I move it on this side? Down, up, up, down. Down, up, up, down. Everything's smoking. Okay, now what? Throw rocks on the platform, it said. What the? Oh. Maybe now I need to throw rocks on the platform. They didn't go all the way down. No idea how many. So we'll throw a few. <sighs> Apparently, the answer is one. Morgue. Is the morgue where I get a vaccine? Morgue's for dead people. Do you see, Daniel? It has yielded. What? The sh shadow. It has for now. Alexander along with Daniel makes up the foundation for the entire story. Together they make the core conflict. There was a lot of background for this character as he is in a sense the villain, so I wanted to do everything that I could to make him likable and have people sympathize with him. It's the strange the death gamma several and the prisoners have finally been resolved. It seems the drain sewer which has recently opened up for a means transport is plagued by a particular poisonous fungi. The victims have suffered an extreme quick outbreak of sickness affecting the entire body. Some of the men, including myself, was fully spared by this calamity and it is clear that crippling my progress, the prisoners die quickly and their contamination via lacks the energy I seek. I shall immediately start working on a vaccine. Because after all, since we're playing Daniel, and he seemed to want to get back to Alexander, we The vaccine embedded my men to work in the blah blah blah, the note the injected ourselves. vaccine blood, worked at a shit long enough to sue us. Okay, so where is it? Where's the vaccine? Where is it? That doesn't look like a vaccine. A view for Daniel, nobody cares. 
I want the vaccine. That's not a vaccine, neither is that. Hmm. Schnip. I hear you breathing, Daniel. Do you hear me? Have you changed your mind? Where's the vaccine, buddy? They gotta be anatomically correct. I don't see what I need to do in the morgue. I need the vaccine. Where is it? Like stab one of them in the butt and use their blood as a vaccine. I think so. Where's the vaccine? <sighs> Where'd you hide it? Asshole. Is there another way? I'm about to die. What's happening? Help! Anybody? Help! All right, am I about to die or not? Is it green? A smoke is here. Oh my god, is that it? Let me grab it. Let me grab it. Thin copper tube. Not helpful. The flashback of the guy trapped is actually inspired by true events. During the bubonic plague outbreaks, people were buried so quickly that it was not always checked that they were properly dead. This meant that people sometimes woke up finding themselves locked up in tombed, surrounded by corpses. Scratches on doors and walls of such rooms have been found, confirming that it did happen. I do. The copper pipe.
Copper tube with an attached hollow needle. Body is still stiff from rigor mortis. It can't be older than one day. Cannot penetrate it, the skull. Oh, Pokemon! Catch it, catch it, catch it! Do I need to penetrate the skull? Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting to have to do this. Ah! Good night, um, Renan. Thanks for being here. Can I have my. No need to inject the blood again. Okay. Um, I didn't think I'd have to interact with that dead body, but I think I am, uh. Why? Move quickly. Try this again and see if I don't die, hey? Exclamation mark loot if you want the loot. Uh, do you know what? There's only three entries, so you guys might as well pick what you want. Do you guys want the bombers, the healer, or the vampire? There's two of the bombers. Paige, what do you want first? Coded, second. Bob, what do you want? Send it to your birthdays. Paige wants the healer. What do you what do you what do you what do you want, Bob? What do you want, coded? Hey, John Boy, how we doing? You want the bombers? I might as well give Bob the bombers too. Cause I ain't got all day. What do you like as if I got four? Chilling and lurking from work. I appreciate it. How's it there? I don't know. I'm playing a horror game. I'm clenching the whole time. I'm scared. I'm getting frustrated because I don't know what to do half the time. Uh, but I think we finally worked it out a little bit.
Not usually win for her games, but here we are. Be able to get downstairs now through the gas. If not, I give up. <laughs> Just use your angel powers, then a new hurry can hurt you. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. I believe I spent that long looking for a fourth tube when there wasn't one. Somehow every adventurer finds himself in a sewer at some point in his life, and Daniel is no different. Usually these levels tend to be a bit dull, but this one turned out rather okay. Quite a step up from the last sewer level I did in Penumbra Requiem. It was supposed to be a blue tinted level with a feeling of being cold and damp, but it stood out too much to really fit in with the other levels. We settled for a green tint on the brown dungeon set, as it worked nicely as a transition between the system's green stones and the brown fortunate level. What are you doing? Let me go! Please, don't take me! Nobody ever returns! This here was my first job at Script in El Paso. I must say that I like working on Script. But that's probably because Ow. of anything that looks or feels like programming. Where'd he go? I thought he was here. It does that not involve just writing a plain script. You also get to edit entities, create particle systems, set up stuff like areas and entities in the level to support the script. It's actually a lot of fun, and it allows for quite a bit of creativity. This particular puzzle is about having to jam a can of water meal. The you see here can be broken to be used later to jam the meal. Ah. Good to know. A mother with two bodies joined by a, a hinge joint. I wouldn't have guessed if he didn't tell me. part of the puzzle, I first made it so you could break the joint at some point when pulling. But this just felt really strange. So I just asked James how we were doing this kind of stuff in the game. And he told me to just add some area that counted hits in the script. So every time the pipe collided with this area, certain variable was increased by one. You enabled <coughs> well, you scared the fuck out of me. Bless you, LDS John boy. When this variable reached a given value, it triggers the breakage of the pipe, finding the broken pipe piping. And that's how it works. How do I get up there, man? Why you do this to me? What's a hard game without a few spooks? <laughs> this is the machinery that controls the mill rotation speed. There is not much to say about this part. Just a couple levers that change some values when move, and do stuff when the right value is set. As you might already know, playing around with the combination of both levers, you can notice a background sound changing. At the time of working on this, there was no proper sound available for this background sound, so I just picked some placeholders from what was in there already. I thought the peaky sound that is heard when the elevator falls down could do a nice one for the moving speed. How wrong I was. It was unbearable to say the least, so I just ended up removing all placeholders and leaving a to do note in the script. I feel like I sped that up.
No. I didn't think I had a door. Yeah, you run, Mr. Scaredy Cat. Oh, I wonder if that would have opened a grate, maybe. If it didn't stop the turny wheel. I thought it would have... Come on, surely I can... Go, 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 go. No? I thought that's what I would have stopped just then. What the fuck did I do then? Can I get a hint? That's where I came in, right? Someone feels like looking at where I'm supposed to have those levers because I'm not getting it. Yeah, that made it faster. But how do I make it stop? if I'm opening any of these or not. No. does not involve just writing a plain script. You also get to edit entities, create particle systems, set up stuff like areas and entities in the level to support the script. It is actually a lot of fun, and it allows for quite a bit of creativity. This particular cluster is about having to jam a kind of water mill to be able to get through it. But it first needs to be slowed down somehow. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Hmm. 
This seems to speed it up. This is slowing it down. But I tried this. This is the machinery that controls the mill rotation speed. There is not much to say about this part. Just a couple levers that change some values when moved and do stuff when the right value is set. As you might already know, playing around with the combination of both levers, you can notice a background sound changing. At the time of working on this, there was no proper sound available for this background sound, so I just picked some placeholders from what was in there already. I thought the picky sound that is heard when the elevator falls down could do a nice one for the milling speed. How wrong I was. It was unbearable to say the least, so I just ended up removing all placeholders and leaving the to-do note in the screen. Oh, how do I get through here? This is what I've slowed down. Stupid angel. But I had that pipe. looking at the concept art of Brood Monster, uh, I thought that it should sound like one long tone which is coming from Duke. And because it doesn't have mouth, it should sound like hollow thing which can't make clear There's nothing here. complex localization. Firstly, I recorded lots of different kind of dogs and I edited them to play as one tone. I had lots of discussion with Jens. You think I have to jam the water with... Uh, uh, shit. The right idea, you were right, I did have to do that. There was feeling that it was going too close and it wasn't scary and blah blah blah. So it wasn't really scary. It was just big mess. I, uh, I think I made something like five or six different versions, but problems didn't go away. Finally, I just removed the dog sounds and used my own words. I made it with old metal sink, speaking through the tube and putting the microphone in front of the sink. And that way I got more control on the vocalization and two kind of sound was not too because it was coming from actual tube. Uh, I think Brute's movements were the easiest ones for me. I knew from the beginning how I wanted it sound. It's fine. I yeah, I don't, I don't, it's fine. Not fine. It's not fine. Let's chest real quick. Um, that'll... Well, I'd not win this one because it's enemies over time. Excavation mark loot if you want the loot, people.
Well done, team. Last chance to get into the lake. Oh, my ass is killing me. So, two century, not two centuries, two lances for Joel and Bob. Joel and Bob. Paladin for Coded and Paige. And a gladiator for Todd. Does anyone else want a gladiator? That hasn't already got anything. We have one more gladiator of one a scroll. Going once, going twice, going a random. Thank you. Might just go to the bathroom real quick and check on my washing. Give me a minute, please. Uh, feel free to get up, stretch, hydrate, grab a snack, and do what you need to do. Silly time. Yes, it is. Oh. Oh. Why? Why you redeem Kitty Treat when he's being a naughty boy? Gonna high five? High five. Good boy. Need that finger. There we go. Unfamiliar. You see the high five? Wasn't that a good one? That was a really good high five. Yes, it was. That was so kawaii. Yeah, you're a good boy, but a cheeky boy. The distraction. So I must click the wrong one. I will grab about twenty. I try to save up max and then spend it that way. You know, I might have more chance of getting a legendary. Oh my god. I can't believe I just got a legendary. Fuck yes! Fuck yes! Oh, it is my birthday right now. Holy shit, yeah, that was only like 20 cards. I usually try to save up for the 500. That's what happened. Yes. The obstacles in sexy hiking are unyielding, no! and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game of- Fuck! A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for no! a new obstacle, and I'd build it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my 
Ja, I don't think you can provide the kind of help that I need. Okay. Be back. Again. Want it to be very metallic since it has lots of metallic things in its body, and it's a so you guys enjoying this game? Scary guy. Uh, I was or are you like watching between, about how to you know, bits the slits in your fingers and covering your face? Turn out great with the music because the music is very low frequency and movement is high frequency, so there is nice spectre of sound. Together, they make Groot even scarier. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the guy even said it makes it even scarier. Right then, that's when I got the fucking jump scare. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Let's try that again. That's fine, there's no evidence. I'm gonna just... Keep down slowly this time. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I scared you guys. Wait, that's where I came from. They go this way. This actually goes around to the same place. I wonder if there's an extra potion in this side too. No? Lost if I do that. <gasps> and I'm fine. Please be the way out. No, 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 no. Close the door. Oh my god. I. Why is it so hard to close a door? And be on the correct side. Where am I? Oh my god. All the way back here. I need to remember which way I went. That's not the same door I went through earlier though. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's an out. Right. Where is it? I don't know. There is never any escape. Things like this live with you always. How? Would he know if Henry would show up down the road or even at his house? Is he that mad? Would he do that? Doors are hard. Yeah. I never, I never learned how to open a door. After almost two years of continuous development of the editor, this was my very baptism of fire in level creation. My first big level edited ever, that is. Making the base for this level was my assignment for week 8 this year. And I must confess, I was pretty excited about it all. You know, not ever having used the editors in a real life run, 
I was wondering how well I was going to do. 9th of August 1839. I can't stop sweating and shaking. The warding ritual was not something of a sane mind. I did not even realize the dungeon was still in use. Alexander had his servants bring one of the prisoners, a murderer, he told me. Alexander made all the arrangements, but he said I had to perform the ritual in order to have the right effect. What else could I do? Alexander said it had to be done. He is saving my life. I don't have the luxury of argument. Man, imagine if I was playing on hard mode. It's about me using the tools I am dedicated to develop, so that I could get a close view on how they feel when working with them. And it's easier and quicker to get bugs fixed when working like this, as they usually get in the middle of the way, and the only solution is just getting your hands dirty and fix them. This also works well for small features that don't take much time to add. I'm not sure which one I added from working on this level. But it usually starts like thinking, oh, being able to do this or that would be really nice, and ends up with the feature in the editor. Not everything works like this, you know. I actually have a an endless list of stuff to add to the editor, but there is always so little time. It will come eventually, that's for sure, or maybe not. Alexander? Yes. Soon, I won't even be able to move, will I? Your life is safe. I do doubt that. Hello, I appreciate it. Uh, so do I want to go here? I feel like I need to go back all that way. The group awakening sequence is inspired by the movie 7 when they find the sloth victim. I thought that scene was really disturbing, so it stuck to me. When writing the design of the Agrippa event, it came to mind instantly. A fun thing about the grip oh my God, he's alive. was first supposed to be a severed head that was placed at several locations in the game. It then later turned into a guy that is in the game now. If you wonder why he does not have a lower jaw, what does this that's do? because we did not have the resources for voicing. It was then worked into the story though. As Alexander does not want him talking when he shouldn't. Help you? You just try to eat my ass, man? What to stop Alexander? Oh my, so Babylon shall fall, you say. <laughs> you are what is this thing? Alexander is toothless without an all. Yes. Oh, maybe he didn't hurt me. Maybe it's the spikes. I told Thomas that I wanted a character that the player could look at, or at least know that someone was talking to him right now, as in no flashbacks, no ghosts, or memories. Need to remember, I need to go Something up. Something solid a player could depend on being real. However, a character is really expensive stuff. You need a voice, a model, textures, animations, behavior. So we finally came up with this idea about a stationary character so we could cut down on animations and behavior. At this time, Agrippa was just a character, a real historical character actually, I had used as the writer for a letter found in the first stages of the game. But we upgraded him <laughs> and made him a part of the plot. The reason I find him so valuable is that he joined the ranks of Daniel and Alexander, making this so much more complex and intriguing. And of course, it also quite naturally led to the split ending thing. I've missed a whole bunch though, so I don't know what to do. I'm gonna be so lost. Because this door brings me somewhere else. Back on the level editing, it was an interesting experience to say the least. I started with a room with a door leading to level 22 and made my way up from there. 
I managed to build a reasonable base in a bit over a week's time. In this level, it is easily done to not see the whole level. If you have all the ore pieces when coming here, you will get captured at the start and will not get a chance to see the rest of the level. There is a whole area to the east consisting of two very detailed rooms, so if you end up being captured on your first visit, make sure to come visit again. Okay, I want to go back and do what I missed in case I need something. Assuming I can work it out. Okay, so that was the channel. I'm in Nave. Hi buddy, you good? Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Go, 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 go. are mentally prisoners who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement stop. itself stop, 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 stop. as a preamble to the torture, and you should pace yourself. Don't take stop. anyone before they are ready. Blank. Understood. Sounds Don't be an ass. Come on. Chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Manage your victims me. well Come on. and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. Okay, there were more doors up here that I didn't go to. I feel like I need to check those first. I'll come back down. end. Did I just happen to pick the right door first go? In the machine. I still haven't done the machine. What do I do with the machine? The machine is up. That's where I came in. That one's locked. Okay, whatever. Oh, hello. That's gonna work. <sighs> Is there anything else in here? Stop, stop, stop. Thank you. Tempting to take the shortcut. <laughs> Oh, I checked these, didn't I? Didn't I? Or is this something else? Oh, my eyes. I know this. I've been here already. I know this taste. The taste that the maskless rose obfuscating the truth in the dim haze. I did miss this meat earlier. Sweep the traces from my memory. But my body remembers. These cuts in volumes. 
If I feed it to that guy, will he be my friend? What does he need then? What does he need? He wants some life. Oops. I don't know. I don't know what the meat's for then. Did I just come up or did I just come down? Just a little further. It's like Orpheus descending into the underworld. Are you hiding something? W what do you mean? Never mind. Your intuition is remarkable. I'm not sure I'm following. The torture chancel was an interesting level. It made a clear break from all the claustrophobic tunnels that make up the majority of our level. It also presented a challenge since we had to fill that space with interesting pieces and still be able to run into an older computers. The idea of the level is to give the player a sense of what is to come, and to give them a feeling that maybe all this was here even before Alexander built his castle. As a contrast to the mystic shrine, we have an electric barrier in the back of the level. Ritual the idea is in the sign of this bit is on march to the and movie Event to Horizon. Do what is needed. I spend my time helping out the prisoners. Being around these degenerates makes me ill. None of them even tries to face their punishment with any kind of dignity. They taunt me with their lies of innocence and their cowardly pleas of mercy. What can make a man fall so far from the grace of a civilized existence? They are all wicked men, and I remind myself of it constantly. Still, I am thankful for God sending these monsters our way, as they will serve as the instruments of my soul. I try to study the different tools in the torture chamber and learn how to use them effectively. Last time was messy, and the effect suffered from my inexperience. When the next warding is to be performed, I shall be ready. Your voice open. Come on, catch it, catch it, catch it. No. Oh, that's right, I still need to catch my egg.
I think I've hatched all my eggs except for my battle egg. Joel for the 50 gold. Bob encoded for the healer. And Paige for the bummer. Thank you guys. Ba, 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 ba. Big bridge. Why is this door open? All is lost. I must once again start over ever since I recovered the orb first found by Agrippa. I have depended on it for the research, blah blah blah, I tried everything but I have yet to amend the thing, centuries have passed in vain, how much longer can I sustain my life? And other words. <laughs> what an achievement for throwing, you know, a hundred books on the floor. That's um, the same picture that was inside. Oh, 
why? It's not a puzzle. I could have really just ran straight across the bridge rather than checking the sides. Can't jump onto the railing. Just say without getting caught. I haven't even seen anyone to get caught. Ooh. All right. Well, I'm about to die of electrocution. It also has a smooth. Hemisphere depression at the top. Put what in there? I mean, I'm gonna have to test it and walk in there, but I'm pretty sure I'm dead. <sighs> Fine. So I need to pour something in here. What? I have nothing. Oh wait, maybe blood from the altar? Or from the meat? Somehow. But I didn't see any dripping blood. Don't see any dripping blood anywhere to get the blood to pour into the thing. So what do I do? don't see what's in here. I'll go check the other side again but I'm pretty sure I saw nothing there as well. Bucket of tar. A wooden bucket filled with sticky tar. What do I do with that? A bucket of tar. of tar. Would that go in that thing? I don't see why it would. Maybe it could and then I can light it. But I've done nothing in that room over on the right that had the open door. I feel like I'm missing something. though. My bucket of tar went in here. For what reason? I 
go through here. I'm still gonna get hurt, right? So what is this and why? That it still has a smooth hemisphere depression at the top. Can I move it? What did that do? Nothing over here? No? Still blood? So now that I've done that, I can't jump over this. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like there's no nothing else here. There's no no point going forward because I can't work out what to do with the bucket of tar. So retreat, I guess. It's not like it let me light it. That looks like tar as well. and the meat. Oh. Do not know. I've got a long way to go back. Catch it, catch it, catch it! Hey, buddy. It's 
spiders everywhere. Everywhere. Are you guys scared of fire? I do with meat, a machine and a glass jar. Where does the crank go? A machine crank, but I got no idea. Anyone have a suggestion? Oh, we're not actually ready yet. Episode 12. <sighs> so. Amnesia. What was that room? It was called the Chancel, wasn't it? Well, 11 years ago, this playthrough. So did they re-release this game or something?
Loot if you want the loot. Age and evil. Anderson Joe. You guys. Fuck is he going? I don't know how far into this game I am or how much is left. Dad, good to see. Fire was my pupil. My pupil. Yes. I That's right. I haven't opened these because I don't know how to open them. And that's where the guy just went into in the video that I was trying to work out. How do we... Get there. Checked all this. What's the time? Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I really can't be bothered spending a ton of time trying to go through videos to try to find out where to go or how to open this. I suppose it doesn't matter. 
It is an old thing. Building temples out of caverns. The Dark Walls being the universe. And inside are its followers. Human, watching the sky slowly turn. But the followers do have one thing to allow them a real sense of connection. Creation. The orbs. Not many orbs are left. They sometimes How to open the doors. Or break when used by an uninitiated. I was lucky. The orb I found spared my life and returned to where I found it. I know because Alexander took it and brought it to Brennan. Vi was a brave man and dared to proceed where I did not. Oh my god, are you kidding? I was just thinking, what the fuck is that noise? Oops. I, I probably need this chair now. Come on, stand up. Land on your feet. On your feet. You know what, I'll just get a box. Now I can't tell you how frustrated I was. And I didn't even get this from the walkthrough. Because his door was already open. Point of this. A gem meat in there. A gem this in there. Wait. Ugh. Did I just waste my time? Is that not where I gotta go? Catch it, catch it, catch it! You're a good boy, and I appreciate you coming. But I believe you have more important things to take care of. You should hurry, Daniel. No time for sitting around. You're a good boy. Oh, I forgot I could hold R and rotate stuff. That would have been handy to remember a long time ago. No, don't fall off. Oh, is that what I had to do? Lift that up. I was trying to jump up. Does that mean it's actually going to work now? Please open. What the hell did I do then? What did I do? I started it. I did something. What did I do then? Oh, that machine. You should hurry, Where was that machine?
If this didn't make that machine work, I'm gonna scream. Oh my god, I thought there was a cockroach on my actual screen. And I was trying to play it cool. <laughs> Down now. Daniel, you have gone too far. I have to stop you. I can't let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. Yes, I did. Yeah, do I go right or left though? There's two doors open. Which door do I want? This game has too many doors, I'm just gonna put that out there. 15th of August, 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry, no time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold blooded killer. Hurry. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Paint the man. Cut the lines. Cut the flesh. Watch the blood spill. Let it come. Please, I didn't do anything. The man, cut the lines. Paint the man, cut the lines. Please, the man cries. Ah, ah. Now you see. I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more. Withdraw your shadow from my domain. Me out. <sighs> Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Wait, where's the dagger gone? I wanted to keep that dagger. Let me get out of this room, it's making me nauseous. For the torture levels, it was not all that fun to make the sounds. It has a nerve-wracking feeling to it, and I can't say that it is completely enjoyable to make entertainment out of such horrible contraptions. This part of the game is not for show and fun. Its purpose is to create an instinctive feel of horror and repulsion to what these devices are capable of. In the vision, as Daniel performs the ritual, the muffled sound of the man on the table is my own voice. I do some exclusive appearances throughout the game, in fact, in all Penumbra games, I am fairly certain there is a Jens here and there. But nothing prior has been so disturbing to work with as in this vision, when having to tweak the flow and style of the events, and at the same time... The 
inspiration for this level came from the first Silent Hill game, when you run around in the town. I wanted to recreate the feeling of being lost, knowing that dangerous creatures lurked in the fog. I did not really like the map in the Silent Hill games though, as you always had to switch back and forth between it. So in all our games we tried to come up with other ways to help the player navigate. In this level it meant that you should follow the pipes. This was not really apparent to all people though, and that's why there's a little event at the start. This that is killing us both. Yeah, I didn't think so. But I just wanted to see what would happen if I got in there. You let me out now? I don't like this level at all. It's hard to see, it's blurry and it's giving me motion sickness. The inspiration for this level came from the first Silent Hill game when you run around in the town. I wanted to recreate the feeling of being lost knowing that dangerous creatures lurked in the fog. I did not really like the map in the Silent Hill games though, as you always had to switch back and forth between it. So in all our games we tried to come up with other ways to help the player navigate. In this level it meant that you should follow the pipes. This was not really apparent to all people Where did the pipes though, go? and that's why there's a little event at the start. I didn't realize the pipes either. You can't see shit. Where'd the pipes go? Definitely did not enjoy that level. Oh my god. The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. <laughs> All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. Okay, there's marks on here like I should be turning this, but why? Maybe I can't do it during the story? Gross. 
You guys can't even see the cockroaches on the screen, can you? Like, there's cockroaches crawling all over the screen. It's gross. The big bad monster chasing me. If he's catching up, he must be a runner. I don't know why the game is so much darker on OBS than it is on um for me. Is open. Bob and coded. Oh. Coded. Oh, Pokemon, catch it, catch it, catch it. It's a B tier poison bunny type Pokemon. Kill a boss, I might make this the last battle. New, new um, event should be on tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to continue this game tomorrow. I will see. Uh, but I definitely want to play some Deceit because all the Xbox players would have only just started playing. Well, yeah, they started playing yesterday so they probably already know too much. Have you guys even been able to see any of the game? Like when I look at the screen it looks pretty much black. I don't know why it does that. Wait, that goes to transept again? Isn't that where I just... I was in a transept? I don't know. <sighs> the 
Spiritus is inspired by the hauntings, the black and white version. I really love spiral staircases and I find just something ominous about them. Also worth noting is that the torture devices in the level are all real and are things similar to those depicted had happened in real life, even in present days. For example, Stapado is still a common torture method. As discussed in another commentary spot, we try to take the subject seriously and stay away from just the volume and gore. So what did that do? Did that actually do anything? I don't know what I did. connect these two somehow. Blood cannot be reached. I need to find a way to lower the vessel. Yeah. Can I pick up some rope? How am I what how am I supposed to lower the Oh you know what I wonder if it was to do with that on the other side when I lower it because I lowered it and I lifted it back up didn't I? So I pretty much undid what I did. Or should I check upstairs first? So Lurian, thank you so much for the read of four. How was your stream, Beth? Thank you, Silurian, for the raid of four. Watch the clip on screen to see what they're about or click the link in chat to check them out. Oh my god, this game, yeah, it's fucking scary. And I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Oh really? Now it lets me lift that up? Do I need to though?
Why wouldn't it let me lift it up a minute ago? Boom was good. Forever Skies. I haven't heard of that one. We're on our uh, last battle of the day. Yeah, I don't think I can get these to join. It's an awesome post-apocalyptic game. Uh, finally beat the story, congratulations. I'm not a big fan of horror games, so I'm secretly shitting myself and I'm probably gonna have lots of nightmares tonight. Wow, these stairs are actually really tricky to navigate. Um, what other stuff have you been playing lately? Or perhaps I should say disturbing, that the methods Alexandra describes in notes yes, can the rope. be used to describe how we do horror. I will let you draw your own conclusions from that. I'm not reading all that. After nine hours. I don't think so. Mostly chill farming games. Nothing wrong with chill farming games. So I guess this has to go with that and then I drop that into the thingamajiggy and get the blood. But then what do I do with the blood? I don't know if I get to new playing this tomorrow I'm probably completely gonna forget where I am, how to get anywhere. I haven't even gone out that door yet. The wrong door. And now, what do I do with this blood? Does that go in that altar, maybe? The altar where I had to put the tar down? What was upstairs? Why did I come back downstairs? Was there nothing upstairs? To do? Is this thing? Can we stop with the bright white light? Pretty great. I don't see what to do in this room, so I was gonna leave. This door's closed. Does that mean I haven't done that door or? Or is that my way home? Way back, okay. All right, I'm gonna try and put this pot of blood in that thing at tar and if that doesn't work, I'm probably gonna give up. Wait, you know, it's not for you, is it? Yeah. No. 
And if it does work, I might just finish up there and maybe I'll continue it tomorrow. Maybe. Where the frig am I? Ah, yes. Because if this blood does not go in that altar, I don't know what to do. Oh my god, do you know what? It's the orb that goes in here. Please tell me I'm not missing part of the orb. Are you kidding? I'm missing a piece of the orb. A piece of steak. How did I miss a piece of the orb? Where the fuck is the last piece of the orb? I didn't find anything in the last section I went in, did I? So it's got to be there. Remember how to get back there. It was through the transverse. Wait, I went around that way last time. Maybe it's just in here. Might be simple. What are the microphone gear things? What microphone gear things? Oh, they they give you story. Okay, don't do that. They they tell you about um like where the devs got the inspiration from and things like that. Uh, where am I? Oh, Pokemon! Catch it, catch it, catch it! Yeah, like if I click it, it'll... The all... group awakening sequence is inspired by the movie 7, when they find the sloth pig. I thought that scene was really disturbing, so it stuck to me. When writing the design of the Agrippa event, it came to mind instantly. A fun thing about Agrippa is that it was first supposed to be a severed head that was placed at several locations in the game. He then later turned into the guy that is in the game now. If you wonder why he does not have a lower jaw, then that's because we did not have the resources for voicing. It was then worked into the story though, as Alexander does not want him talking when he shouldn't. Aha! <laughs> okay. That's not what I thought I would have to do, but let's go. Please don't eat me. Remains. What do I want with remains? The bone is covered in mucus. <sighs> what do I do with it? Mix it with something, maybe. Am 
Am I meant to give that to that guy? Now, the right door is the one where I don't think I got anything from, wasn't it? No, I did. I did get something from here. see half the time it's so annoying was it upstairs that I didn't get anything I just need one more piece of the globe not up here. Uh, so I don't know what to do with this. Oh wait, I could touch it? I didn't actually do anything in this room, did I? So where's the orb from this room? I knew I should- I always move everything. I knew I should have. I always move freaking everything. And I didn't this time. I'm like, eh, whatever. The one time. Yeah, do you want a bone? Do you want a, do you want a bone? Oh my god, do I stick that in there? No? What do you say? The bone is hard. What did you just... No? What did you just write in the book? Grind it up and feed it to you, no? Oh, what did you say anyway? The bone is hard to chew, even more so when having no jaw. You want to drink some blood? Okay. He said no. It's fine. the right way now. Please be the right way. 90% of the doors open towards you and then this one opens the other way. It's so weird. Alright, if this isn't the last piece of the orb, I don't know where the other piece is. And I'm gonna cry. You son of a...
there and look at everything. I don't. Did I get something out of the office? Could I have missed it in the office? I don't, I don't know. I don't fucking know. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I don't know if I'm playing this again or not. I haven't decided. Um, I might briefly look at a bit of a walkthrough and see if I can find it, but I'm done for today. And otherwise, I'll be playing Disney tomorrow. Anyway, ways open. Um. All right, let's start that. Alright, last chance to get into the loot, guys. Alright, well, we have Cricky. Does anyone else want a scroll? Anybody else want a fairy? All 
All right, that is it. Guys, if you haven't yet subbed to my YouTube, please sub to my YouTube. I'm trying to get monetized over there. Um, if you haven't yet hit any of my support codes, discount codes, or links, it's all in my exclamation mark links. If you haven't yet followed the channel, feel free to follow, because it is free to follow. If you can copy and paste the host type when I read out, that would be amazing. Uh, I'm going to get rid of somebody else playing this game. Um, they aren't too far off where I am. Um, they've got a few of the orb pieces. But he doesn't know where the last one is yet either. Uh, but... Farewell. I don't know, I can't think. Uh, so I'm going to be rating this lovely gentleman. Um, yeah, so if you can copy and paste the host type guys, that'd be amazing. Uh, thank you mods, VIPs, subs, feels like as battlers, financial supporters and raiders. I appreciate you guys. Stay safe. Stay awesome. Thank you for the nine hours of stream. I probably won't be playing this tomorrow. And I'll see you all next time. Much love guys.